can we see the chat by the way can we see what they're yes saying? uh yes i've put us live by the way um it's in twitch ecf commentary you can see it on the right hand side can you see it now i can't at the moment. no but i can't uh but if i go to uh no i can't at the moment i mean i, I can it doesn't matter uh, and you can tell me what the that they're right. we are it. actually live john so it's we are today i am with uh grandmaster john spielman and we are looking at the queen's festival um which is a women's worldwide event and the english team qualified to the finals and so we are looking at we're just going to look at the start of this event today um, and it's a three plus two blitz event. So we'll have some very fast games. Um, the teams are in the middle of round one, but uh, England has a buy in round one. So we'll be we'll be looking at uh, some other games in round one and then we'll move on to the English chess players for round two, which will be starting at about 20 past one. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm just getting to grips with Tornello. So if it's if uh, we take a little while in finding games that's all that's that explains that but at the moment we are looking at um vantika agrawal from india is playing black here wim against wfm leela karidzi from georgia and she can make a pawn if she wants well there are various things she can do she can go rook takes queen takes bishop takes e5 um oh she did that but she could have taken the pawn and then there was a a counter blow at the end um anyway she hasn't done it particularly well um <laughs> just, just, uh, i mean if you go back two moves if you can yeah i think i can back, right. back. there you go yeah with another couple of moves uh she should have played rook takes rook and bishop takes bishop yeah and then if rook takes rook, arrows. Rook, i can do arrows i'm not sure good. if i meant rook takes rook queen takes rook bishop takes pawn Bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, queen d7, hits a lot of pawns. But then queen a1, check, takes a2, defends both the pawns, which is rather rude of her. Anyway, <laughs> well, anyway she hasn't done that. Um, because, I mean, I can give you sort of proper commentary at blitz speed if you want. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Um, yeah. Actually, there was also the move b5, by the way, was possible, but just queen b3, it didn't particularly help. Uh, because you always look at deflections. Oh, she's uh, she's now lost about thirty pawns, but uh, she's fighting. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. White should be a little bit better, but Black has chances of making a pass pawn on the queen side, and they're playing three plus two, are they? So it's, it's going to get three plus two. So they they shouldn't run out of time unless they kind of get, yeah, get get scared. Get scared, yes. Oh, <laughs> checkmate for Black. That plus. How did that? Oh, uh, an accident occurred. Yes, an accident occurred. Let's just have a quick look at the teams in the event, John. So um, we've, got, we've got these are the teams that are playing, um, and the people listed are. Um, I actually can't see this at the moment, but let me, if I maximize it, I probably can. Yeah. Uh, so that's um, good. Well, 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 it's, well, it's nice to see these, these pods playing in the English team, and they're going to, well, Zovani, you said, is the person who asked. Who uh, asked to commentate. She said, would we be covering it on the Twitch? Now, Zoe, I don't know if you, how well you know Zoe, John. I, I, um, I she has also set up her own Twitch stream. So she, uh, her Twitch stream is Horsey Chess, and she's doing quite a lot of um, streams right. and commentaries at the moment of her playing it on, um, I think, in, in this event and various other events. So Is she streaming at the moment, by the way? Is she allowed to? I think she's not... I, I think she's not actually yeah because if she were it would show us live on my thing so she's not streaming right now um but she does stream you know quite often lee chess mm -hmm. events and 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 uh whatever so um the other players in the england team um there's also louise head mm -hmm. um do you know louise at all yeah well i, I know she played in the women's championship and did very well she, she's yeah. quite, quite dangerous isn't she she is and um she also was playing in the checkmate covid event so she was the top placed woman in that event you know they're like the 24-hour blitz marathon so oh, it's my, it's my answer to that but still <laughs> she um 
yeah, so so that's she's. I think she's good at um, blitz as well as slow uh, and, and not sleeping, being a young person. And not sleeping, yeah. <laughs> that's that's the bit that gets me. Yeah. <laughs> we also have Nina Pert, who, 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 who's uh, Richard Pert's daughter. Exactly, daughter of Richard Pert, and she. Um, she did rated nowadays. The British. She the rating on here is um, fifteen thirty-seven, but she's 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 way stronger than that. Yeah. She's about 140, 150, isn't she? I thought. Yeah. Right now, I don't know. I mean, I haven't seen. I did some stuff for Richard a few years ago, and she was certainly the strongest girl player there, I think, and, and was beating up the boys quite a lot. But I, I mean, these were junior events under yeah. sort of. What is she now? Probably 12 or something, 13? Uh, born in 2008, yeah. So 12 yeah. or 13, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So starting to get quite a lot stronger. Yeah. Definitely. And the fourth player we have is um, May Caitlin Rose Catterby, who is two years younger than Nina. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, so she'll be playing on board four. Cool. I know she's been playing lots of the online events as well, so I expect she's been improving very uh, rapidly too. Has, yeah. yeah, well, it's a completely different thing, isn't it, from sort of over the board chair. Well, not completely different, it's very different, but people, it, it, oh, they're getting a huge amount of practice anyway. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. People could have improved an absolute stack during the last couple of years. Um, what I thought we would do, why don't we look at one of the opposing teams and just look at a game? Yeah, sure. Um, so if I pick Ecuador, you can probably guess who this is. We're probably not meant to say because they don't this give their name. Matter. MF, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, let's see if we can... No, I couldn't see, but I assumed it would be Marta if it was Ecuador. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's have a look. She's quite a strong player, always. She's, yeah. Let's have a look. And how do you go to the start? You probably do. Yeah. You Here we go. Can yeah. you see that now? That's at the start of the game. Yeah. Uh, okay. Do you see that? So she's playing black against uh, Nagali Nazerke. Um, well, somebody. Okay. Right. Um, okay. So, 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 so just play the move. So she's playing g6. We'll see if she's playing a king's Indian. She's not. She's playing a modern. One of the many, many lines of the modern that sort of work and sort of don't, but you get a lot of quite a lot of the time. I once wrote a modern but defense book where my basic research was losing every possible line as black, uh, you know, which was probably suboptimal, but I did beat Dave, Dave Nord with one of the many lines I'd lost with his black afterwards. I didn't yeah. know you'd written a book on the modern, actually. That's yeah, I, wa I wanted to write um, two volumes, the modern against E4 and the modern against D4, but they didn't like the idea. Because <laughs> obviously they can transpose after one move, but they don't always. Yes. I mean, basically, there's a modern where they play c4, and there are all these different systems. So knight d4 or knight e7. Knight e7, she played. Okay, I think I'd play g4 if I was, but I don't know if it's maybe not a very good move. Black has a quite a good position after knight f5, I would say. Knight f5, she did do. Yeah, because you got because the dark squares are quite weak. H three doesn't help white's dark squares, by the way. It weakens a G three square. What does she do? Knight f six, knight e seven, h five even. Knight f six. Yeah. Queen b three. Probably b six. Okay. If yeah. check, if check. You're probably not going to swap queens. I hope. Uh, okay. You can take an e three. Have a slight advantage. She did. Take, take, take. Yeah, as you say, this g three pawn now. The, the, the d3 square is a bit weak yeah so she castled probably yeah yeah i mean this is nothing very much but it's f4 is making that bishop very happy basically you try not to make your opponent's pieces happy yeah you know, i'm the goofeld model you can play check on f5 if you want to white wants to play f5 which is weakening the dark squares but liberating the pieces slightly what does she do bishop d4 check and queen h4 or something yes yeah, queen f6 okay now, f5 really isn't going to work. Rook b1, that's a fairly Just desperate move. Really. Having a pawn. Stick some rooks in the e file now. That's what you yeah. have to do. Rook e3, of course. Oh, that looks quite scary, doesn't it? Now white has now black has a big advantage. Rook to there, yeah. Black must be close to winning now, I would think. Uh, queen h4, I would think, yeah. Yeah. Uh, queen g3 check. Um, you didn't quite have a mate with queen h3 because they're a shame, quite close. Uh, what would I play here? Now, now I get annoyed that I didn't have an immediate win, actually. Yeah. I'd start to think, can I play... Rookie 1 probably wins a pawn, but it's not. Rookie 1, Queen D2, you can... That's not that clear. 
Um, it's actually I mean, an interesting move here. Or you can take it. That's interesting. That blocks mm. the ball. You don't need to anymore. Queen yeah. H4 would have threatened mate in two, which would have been fun. Uh, give her a pawn, rook H3. And actually, it isn't mate because the queen's going to H2. Yeah. But it would probably have threatened rook takes pawn and rook E3, though. Oh, A3. Wait, please. But there's, well, well, really not much to do. There's a certain amount of the Nero a complex at that moment. That's it. Mm. That's just a windy move. Don't like that move very much. Which um, one? Bishop G7. Yeah, but I suppose she's going to H6. She's, she's going to try and take this F pawn, isn't she? Yeah, and, and give mate as well. So that's not such a bad thing to do. Yeah. Indeed, she has, and, and now you can take in D3, and they can resign. Did she? Did and indeed. Oh no, and Mike didn't quite resign yet, but it's happening soon. Okay. Basically resigned, I think. So yep. It's because the blitz, they carried on. But here, here White resigned. Okay. Yeah, well, that's 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 back there. yeah, Black played quite a good dark square game. I tend to divide games into white and black square games. You know, and this, ah. is, a black, this is a black square game because you've um, attacked in the black squares. Yeah. Uh, and, and I told you, didn't I, that H3 was weakening, which it was. You did, you did, and indeed, uh, the Queen came in on G3 and the F4 pawn got weak, so, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, I mean, so sometimes quite small-looking things can be extremely important. That's one of the things one learns. Right, there's about three minutes till the next round, so let's also look at, um, at this one. Um, and oh, oh, that is the next round coming up. That's um, exciting, right? So let's have a look. Are, are we going to look at the girl who requested? Yes, the, let's look at round two. Right, so we. Chess.com. Yeah. So, oh, good grief! Forcey Chess has got a buy. That's not. <laughs> that's not ideal. What we'll do is we'll look at Louise, Nina, and May, and then we'll make yeah. sure we look at uh, Zoe the next game. Okay, that's fine. And this is lovely speed. I'm when you asked me, I didn't know if we we're going to be sitting here for ages. I hate watching slow chess, and yeah. uh, it's funny because it, I just think of it as a completely different game. So, I mean, I don't play really anything slower than about three plus two if I can avoid it, just because yeah. I think I don't I quite like three plus two. I can't really play much faster than three plus two either, but I do quite like three plus two. Yeah. Well, I can't. What else did you play, John? Well, three plus zero, I can do. But I sometimes, well, I mean, normally I have a minute or a half or something left at the end of it, but sometimes I don't. And I do yeah. flag occasionally. I mean, I'm just not very, very quick. And I don't play Bullet because I consider it a video game which about 10 people in the world can play. The people who can play Bullet, it's absolutely balletic and lovely to watch. Mm. Watching, watching Ferruja and Carson beat the hell out of each other is splendid. <laughs> and watching, you know, Nakamura play it is splendid. And there are a few people in the chess, you know, there are probably a dozen or 50 maybe, who can actually do it, whose hand-eye coordination and mice or mouses are good enough that they can do it. And that's great. But everybody else is just a complete complete dog's dinner as far as I'm concerned. And when I teach people, I do say, play at the fastest rate you can play where you're comfortable, but not any faster, because it's just ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you the interesting thing about this game. Um, this is Louise Head against Nagali Nazerki from Kazakhstan. But that was actually the game we just looked at was, was that girl, uh, Nagali Nazerki. Right. Who, who, who was, who was losing, losing to Marta, was she? Yes, yes. Yeah. She's not a bad player, but she's not, she's not positionally splatted by, by Marta. Yeah. I mean, she did various things. She messed up her, well, she messed up her dark squares, really. You know, yeah. you, as I said, you have to be kind to your pieces yeah and i mean this is a lot about just being sensible actually and, i mean i i don't try to play best moves. I do think those sensible moves quickly have we got games starting it sounds like or, or I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm gonna yeah they've put in all the other rounds and what they did last time was put in all the other rounds and then take them all away again so i'm gonna just look on i have to go to the player list so let's look and see if louise has started. <laughs> it's also clunky isn't it it, it, it might be that that might be my own um, ability uh, of operating it. By no, the way, no, no, no. I, I mean, all these things. I mean, I hardly ever play on these things apart from for fun because you know when you have to sit sit on a Zoom call so that they can see that you're not cheating and all this stuff is. I know. 
I think that's, yeah, as I get older, that's I, I want to spend less and less time doing that. <laughs> yeah, and, and having arbiters, you know, jumping up and down and squeaking, that, that doesn't go down well with me. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, okay, so this game's going to start soon. Louise has the white pieces. Um, okay, okay, well, let's watch her. She's quite a good hacker, as I remember. Yeah. Let's so see. We'll enjoy her hacking. Oh, here we go. Yes, she starts it, so D4. So, so, so hacking is a compliment from me, by the way. Yes. <laughs> So it, it means, you know, being tactical and dangerous. Oh, bishop b7, that's very sophisticated. That's basically to stop bishop g5, and this is what Raphael Vagonian used to do once upon a time. Uh, but she, but now she's got knight f6, bishop g5. They got to a different, slightly different position. Yeah. Okay, so this is called the Tartakova or the Bakagano of Bondarevsky in, by Russians. And this is actually the game at the moment, Fischer Spassky... Oh, game, really? game six, which I was, oh, wow. was I was annotating for my chess base column only, um, well, the, this week's chess base column. I did a column called Mirror Mirror, basically oh. about who's the best. Because yeah. I wrote the previous column, I in a throwaway remark, I'd said, well, Carson played badly these games, but he is arguably the strongest player of all time. And I had a rabid Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> saying, oh my god, you can't possibly believe that, that, believe that, Fisher, that Fisher isn't the best. So I, uh, so I, I thought, well, that's a good idea. Uh, you're supposed, yeah. by the way, to have exchanged knights in d5 and played queen a4. Is that play. what Fisher did? Uh, well, 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 yeah, yeah. The thing is, um, that this game, the girls left left the bishop and b7 diagonal open, which is good for black, or helps okay. black. So yeah. the b seven bishop is quite a good piece. If you if you block the diagonal, it's not so good. Perhaps knight takes d five was probably better, and queen takes c five and try to win a pawn. Uh, mm -hmm. She could have tried to nick a pawn. I would try to nick a pawn at blitz. There was a line that went knight takes bishop takes queen takes c five queen b seven queen b five, and if you swapped and took an f three, you play rook g one and get an attack. This is. Probably takes some bishop c4. She's played bishop d3. It's a perfectly reasonable move. The point of h6 is that you don't have a tempo because you're not hitting the pawn. That's quite important. Rook c8 probably can't. Oh, well, actually, then knight c3 damages white's pawns. Probably should play knight takes d5. Well, then queen takes actually wins. Now, knight c3 is better for black. Clearly yeah. better for black. And she's done it. Yeah, because uh, you just swap and play. Maybe take an f3 and play rook c8 or play rook c8 immediately. And you have the better pieces. White's got weak queenside pawns and no compensation whatsoever. So you should just swap queens here. Unless, yeah. you, unless you want to play queen h5 and try to checkmate the girl, which might be possible as well. I mean, that's... Yeah. Exactly. As you predicted, I think, yeah, she's going to swap the queens, which isn't going to suit Louise, I suppose, if Louise is a hacker. Well, she well she's got a much worse ending. Um, I mean, you can play rook takes, rook takes, takes, rook, rook c8, rook c1, bishop f3, gf3, knight e5, and stick a knight in c4, and you're clearly better as, as black. See what she does. I mean, taking an f3 is certainly not obligatory, but obligatory, but it's quite a good thing to do as well. Yeah, she has. I mean, I probably would. I mean, when I play blitz, I tend to display nice endings because it's, mm. you know, well, I'm relatively better. Pro well, I don't know. I'm good at hacking, but, but it doesn't always happen. Right, mm -hmm. so now... Now, I wonder, actually, should we try and take a quick look at Nina's game as well? We'll try yeah, and sure. multitask. Well, we, uh, yeah, sure, let's just have one more move. C4 will mm -hmm. be played and probably rook yeah. C7 or something. And black is just better. I mean, black has... But it's not winning or anything. Yeah, she's trying to double and tuple on the C file. But, you know, the game continues. Okay, let's have a look at Nina. Let's see if we can see Nina as well. Uh, and so here's Nina, and it'd be round two. I mean, they're playing quite well. They've been. We haven't seen any gross blunders yet, which is very good. Yeah, should we do it from the start? Yes, please. Okay. I can't even see who's uh, Nina. Is so white. Nina's white. Um, She's playing. Okay. Kaliakmet again, Kazakhstan. But, yeah, well, it's against the country. The country? Isn't it? So, yeah, so, Kazakhstan. Yeah, so so she's playing. Uh, okay, so it's a Khan Sicilian. Knight C3, not Bishop D3 more common at once, actually, but so it doesn't matter. Bishop C5, reasonable. 
I mean, sometimes they go H5 now because they're animals. <laughs> or, or, I mean, you know, things like that. Not, not quite yet. And Nina looks like she's lining up her... I thought she was going to move her F pawn there when she moved her king. Well, well, well I see. Yeah, she played king as well. I didn't see. I mean, this is very comfortable for black. This is actually quite a good position for black. Now, H5 is what I'd play here. I'd say, what are you doing, comrade or comrade mm. S, with your knight? Because now knight H5 makes sense of her position. And she she so, so H5 would have stopped that and would have prepared page for H3. I think I might castle. Well, okay, she's taken. This is now black's position now white's position makes sense actually queen takes bishop by the way was a threat yes oh because of the pin because yeah. of the pin yeah queen g5 is a bit odd uh i would have played rook a actually uh i'd be i would have played bishop b5 because 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 the sacrifice is good in blitz bishop b5 pawn takes knight takes queen moves knight d6 check will be fine. yeah you're getting three pawns aren't you and an attack yes and that's good in a blitz game uh, queen g3 hits there, knight e5, bishop h6. She's slightly floundering. She's slightly getting, I mean, she's she's not taken aim very well because now black can play her pieces. That's defending the d-pawn, h5, movie king, I suppose. Did she? No. Bishop. She's um, going b4. And now bishop h6. Oh, so she's going to take on g7 and then and then go h6. Well, well, well f6, f6 is f6 necessary, defense. but actually... Probably it wasn't. She hasn't done it very well. Uh, now knight e2 and just try to bring it to somewhere to annoy the e6 pawn. But you see, the thing is, when you attack, you need to try to choose one square to attack. And she's not quite clear which one she's attacking. Mm. She's attacking e6 or, G, or g7 or what. You know, you need to coordinate your lumps. And um, that's not really happening. h6, I'd be quite encouraged by as, as white. I'd want to try to attack the g6 square now in a minute. Yeah. Maybe, maybe she'll play queen f7 to hit the h5. Queen has now queen h3 is normal, I would think. Yeah. It's played. I mean, they're playing quite well, actually, these girls. I mean, they're not, as I said, they're, they're not blundering. Yeah. It is the first big thing in blitz is just not to blunder, actually. Yeah. And I haven't seen any. That's a very sensible move. Black has slightly outplayed her, I would say. But knight f4 may. What well, takes knight f4 is going to be interesting anyway. F4, she's gone. Yeah, I don't know if you could have taken an e4 in that position and allowed takes, takes, and d3. So if you could have played a, a d takes e4 in this position after f4 with a bishop and d3, not clear to me. Yeah. Take, take, you take an f6, but e2 actually hangs. So maybe you can go takes, pawn takes knight, pawn takes bishop, pawn takes pawn f5. And that probably is very is very good for black because the white squared bishop has become a monster. But actually taking and taking e4 is also very strong. Sorry, no, this is rubbish. The, just take this is, is, is good for black now, I'm afraid. So she took and she took an e4, yeah? Yeah. And this is now basically, yeah. basically catastrophic. Now she should play e5 to stop the horse playing. Uh, she's taken. Well, actually, it's good as well. But but now at least the knight can come to f4 and try to cause some trouble. Yeah. Maybe actually it won't. No, she's Ooh, she's... check. Oh, that's nasty. Sorry, that's the end of the game, isn't it? Yeah. That is nasty. Okay, sorry, um... I did not see that That I'm missing things already. Uh, so that's yeah. the, end, the end of the universe. Which was so, a bit I... worse anyway, I guess, even without the... Uh, oh, she's completely lost, actually, because of... Yeah. um, Because cause, cause the bishops and the h5 pawn. So what's happened is she's... Developed her pieces okay, Nina, but she's not really known what to do. She's attacked G7. She's tried to attack E6. She's not been sure which way she's going. Um, F4 was a, was a blunder, and after F4, she's being splattered. Mm. And, F, and she didn't need to play E5. It's quite true that just taking was very strong. I thought we were going to try to get a knight to G6 to make a bit of trouble, but it never happened. So, um, yeah, shame. She's not... I mean, her opponent's a stronger player than her, I think. Yeah. And she, um, her opponent's stronger than her opponent's rating as well, I think. So. I don't know what her opponent's rating 15, is. 1528, it's saying here. But is she, it? I, I can't. But, uh, sorry, I, re I, I have to really... I, I could... Yeah, I can, if I, if I maximise the screen, that, that seems pretty... Well, remember online ratings, you start at sort of 1500. It depends. She yeah. may have started at 1500 a game ago or something. They're probably right new to Tornello as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. because you get a new rating. I mean, you know, yeah. 
if yeah. I start on Tornello, I probably start at fifteen hundred. I yeah. guess you know, which means nothing in itself. Um, okay, well that's a shame. Let's how, see what how, happened with how, Louise. How's Louise head going. Let's see. It's probably over now, but we can uh, see how it went. Um, uh, so where did we? We were. She lost, but we don't know why. Um, she, Let's go back a bit. Where were we? Well, we're looking at some some ending where she's worse because she's a pawn down for nothing very much. Some, something has gone. I mean, she needed to unpin at some point. Yes, so C4 we saw, didn't we? This was was necessary, point. yeah. But this position actually is foul. I mean, yeah, it's the wrong look. And now B, B5, B5 yeah. it just really isn't. And I don't know which way I'd have taken on C5, but she took within the rook. Okay, that's also good. And the thing is, basically, you're, this girl's got enough technique just to do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, you can see she's improving. And, oh, well, now you can take and take an F7, which at least makes... But then rook F6 probably wins, but still, I'm not sure if she intended any of that to happen. <laughs> I don't think she did. She's slightly. Oh, that no, no. Letting those come off is is terrible. You can't swap the rooks in this position. Yeah. Yes, you're going, to, you're going to lose the a pawn. You could try it. Well, you just lost actually. And well, I guess you took that one first. But I'd have gone knight to b one and removed the other one, probably. Okay, she's going and taking everything. She's mm -hmm. taking the house, the garden, and <laughs> the trees as well. You know. Good enough. Yeah, okay. Uh, and I mean, you can see she hasn't got much time. She's, um, what happened in this? She castled, didn't she? Well, she, well, she didn't. If we go, go to the beginning, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, go through quickly. So, so okay, that's very sophisticated. Bishop B7, this girl has had some coaching. Obviously, this is a Tartakova. Now, normally, you play knight d5 and after queen e7. No, you take, it's fine, you play knight d5 and queen a4 and pretend that black's, that's playable obviously, but now black has, has a nice bishop, it's also playable. No, no you, uh, um, yeah, um, rook c1. Okay, you probably, you, know, you need probably to play knight takes d5 at this moment, but you're not better anymore. Um, yeah, because then otherwise this pin came in down the C file and you got the bad yeah. pawns, yeah. No, I don't know if you could have played knight b5 maybe in that position. Instead of bishop d3, knight b5 is an interesting move. Knight it? b5. Yeah. I'm not sure if, I, but maybe you can go rook c8 and you've already got takes, knight takes, and you've got threats with knight d3. I'm, try, I'm just trying to find a way to, I don't think that's very comfortable because you have to give up the d, but you could go knight b5. If rook f, probably rook f c8, queen takes queen, knight takes queen, rook d1, at least you're threatening knight d6, you've got some pieces. It's, it's not, not too bad, I think. I mean, a knight takes knight, queen takes knight, bishop c4 is playable. Or knight takes knight, queen takes knight, actually rook d1 wins, a, no, it doesn't win. Yeah, it's good. Oh, so rook d1 here. Yeah, rook d1 after knight takes knight, queen takes knight is actually quite good. Yeah. Um, he can go bishop, she can go bishop takes knight after knight takes, but then you can do anything you like and you're all right ish. Yeah, I mean, you're not better. The thing is, after bishop d3, rook c8, it's already getting a bit difficult to extricate yourself. Yeah, um, because I mean, you can't go knight takes knight because then queen takes knight is almost winning, got all this <laughs> but because of the attacks in d3, and so maybe you should have gone bishop b2. Rook c8 knight. It's, it's just slightly uncomfortable already. Yeah. Because blacks have got a slight lead in development, and um, you know, there's white has no compensation. Okay. So, okay, and so bishop d3, rook c8 castles. Then there was the weak pawn on c3, and then she was yeah. suffering. She doesn't have to be losing at this point, but she's certainly suffering. Yeah. I mean, her opponent just played sensible moves. Yeah. All right. Let's try the third player, the um, other player we didn't manage to see yet, which is May. Right. Uh, very young player. Um, she's let... 11 or something, is she? Yeah. Um, 
let's see her game if i can find it, it should be here somewhere now uh, there's may let's try that um, again against kazakhstan and, okay right we actually have a an england win here um right. well, I don't know, it's very good against no, kazakhstan that's well, very good is yeah look. oh flip here flip that would be how to flip the board all right let's quickly run through this one as well yeah so, so, so we're black yeah black okay Brazilian. yeah perfectly reasonable bishop g5 probably okay don't have any well, well i mean white hasn't played particularly inspired chess because because you know she could have tried to attack after bishop b7 she needed to go bishop f6 really i think and mm. play moves i mean this is now probably about equal what did she do she gave check check that's what the queen is yep important enough castles one way or other got a little bit of space now quite nice um b6 or b5 so it's b5 that's a bit more aggressive sure how good that was should be six probably rookie look here here okay take take here take take king f8 probably f6 good move as well i think um a little bit of danger against these pawns how did she do knight b4 i suppose 95 you know is knight a6 a problem here or do you go c4 i suppose you do knight a6 c4 knight c5 king d2 is okay Take, take. Oh, I, I've managed to lose a pawn. I managed to lose a pawn. <laughs> That's not right. Well, I can go king e1, perhaps. I should go knight c5 first, yeah. Knight c5, played. And I should go king e1 to try to trap that. Now the knight gets to e3. I should have gone king. Oh, now, really? we, now we can try to go and chase that horse. So she should be going, going chasing. But, but, yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to work. How does this get out? Is it h... No. I don't see a way it can get out actually at the moment. But a G4 is probably a bit stupid because you could give up two pieces for. Uh, yeah, well, the horse has got trapped, so she's actually losing now. Yeah. But something happened, did it? Well, it says white lost on time at the end. Okay. I don't know what the material was like at that point. Well, I mean, it looks as though you can try to fight. She's lost quite a lot of pieces, really. Yeah. This might have been a lucky escape for me, the white losing on time here. Well, I would say that, yeah. I mean, yeah. Here we are, here we are, yeah. Well, um, right. she's obviously lost, but I mean, she's, I mean, by the way, d4 was a mistake, but if you just move the bishop and play chess, you should be able to win still, probably. Anyway, I mean, she's fighting here. D4, yeah. d4 is an awful move, of course, because it's, uh, lost to the deep pawn, which is which is quite sad um and, and now black's king is near the queen side so this position is not that clear actually yeah even if it's winning it doesn't matter yeah 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 yeah, yeah. But it gives us something to think about it gave her enough to think about that she lost on time which is fine yes, yes. Well, well done her well done her. yes very good all right so round three should be starting in just about one minute's time let's see who we are up against let's be one moment i'm gonna yeah. get them to check. Oh. okay so we're up against um uganda in round three and uh we do have all four boards playing um and so we will follow we'll start off following zoe i think because we didn't see her in the last game she got a buy in the previous game And uh, let's just have a quick look at the standings as well. So um, can we look at the team stand? Oh, the standings, I think this this is the, does it give the team standings here? As individuals. All right, so I think round three is now starting. So I'm gonna look for Zoe's game first. Um, we Zoe and round three. Mm. 
Okay. So we have E4 from Zoe. And John will be very pleased to know it's another kind of perk or modern defense. And Zoe is, I think, going to, yes, swap off these darks, bishops, queen d2, and we might see a bishop h6 either now or in a little bit. Um, castle's long first. And so Zoe might at some point launch her H pawn as well. Yes, I guessed it right. H4 and probably H5 as well. Um, maybe something bishops first. We could interpose that knight. Hey, yeah. Uh, well, now, so this is Zoe playing against Uganda, um, and it's another kind of perk modern type uh, yeah. game. And and she's a. Ah, that's the saying. Blue green hay. Blue gray haze is saying Zoe's a 150 attack addict. Well, yeah. Me too. Actually, I like this opening. Okay. Blue gray haze. That's interesting. So she's a good hacker. Good. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, this looks like a pretty good version because black doesn't have much counterplay. I assume pawn takes. I assume pawn takes and keep that knight out of f5. I don't think you need to. Yeah, well done. Well, she's a 150 attack addict. She's going to play bishop h6 next move against most moves. Yeah. In my opinion. That's how I used to do it. Yeah, bishop h6, h5. That kind of stuff. Come on, bishop h6, knight of 6, h5. Hackety, hackety, check. Splat in some way or other. Yeah. This oh. game will end in splat. Well, it should do, I think. Also, you've got knight f4 with tempo, which is going to be quite useful. Uh, so is bishop h6 good now? Pawn takes pawn, bishop takes bishop, king takes bishop, pawn takes pawn, and queen h6 seems to work. Um, and bishop h6 looks like the best thing to do. I wouldn't... So you wouldn't block it off, try and block it off with, like, d5 or something? Well, you can do, but, I mean, just why do you bother? I mean, I mean, when you can start trying to checkmate your opponent. You know. Yeah, true. Good point. I mean, I'm just very, I'm very crude at this, especially at blitz. at blitz. I really don't try to be very particularly clever. Yeah. I mean, I think cleverness is stupidity at blitz, really. So are you spending a little bit more time than her opponent? She's already. Yeah, she's she, she's spending it down on the clock. She's spending too long. She should just play her move. Just let her. You let, need to let your hand play. Mm. Okay, good, good girl. All right, that's very good. She's done it. Is that patronising? It probably is, but I'm 12 times her age or something. How old is she? She's a teenager, is she, as well? Or? Oh, she must be older than that, because I've played her lots of times. Um, all right, I just... Uh, I mean, she's young, but... Yeah. But probably... All right, all right, all right. So, so girl is probably inappropriate. I just wasn't sure if it was some, some sproglet or other. <laughs> I would have played bishop takes myself. Now take and take and queen h6. I just like to have been able to play knight d5 after the king goes to f6. Yeah. I mean takes 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 is almost. When you say takes takes, you mean take the bishop or take the pawn first? Oh, you can do either way actually. Yeah. Doesn't matter very much. Because you're going to take the bishop next. Yeah, and then get the queen in. Oh, this is really dangerous, right? Well, I mean, it's winning for white, yeah, but I mean, yeah. she just has to play two or three good moves. It's just a shame that 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 the knight isn't. Well, I suppose she might have thought that pawn takes knight was possible in some position, but I don't believe it is for a minced morsel of untimed. So, um, twenty-one or twenty-two, so he is. Right. Okay. I think she'll win this. Yeah, I think she will as well. I, I don't see why not. I mean, it would be a shame not to, you know. I mean, I mean, given given that you're, you know, you're punching them and they're not punching you at all. Yeah. 
and there isn't really a defence. And yeah, I mean, it's just okay. Let's let's take in g seven. We don't don't need to, but we might as well. Queen six. Presumably, king f six is the best move. Yeah. Now, probably just knight takes d four and bring the yeah. bishop back, and then there's no rush. Uh, but is knight g eight a slightly approximation to a defence? Not really. The rook takes d four. I mean, look, the position. If you just give it to an engine, it'll say plus eight or something. Yeah. 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 But it's just knight takes d4. Now knight g8 is the only move to approximately defend. Yeah. And then what? You could kind of just take on h7 if you wanted. Um, I'd like to play e5 check, actually, uh, I think, because then if knight takes queen f4 check, yeah, that looks... And, and this is just mildly irritating. Because <laughs> now you go king f... Oh, actually, king f7, bishop c4. Bishop c4 is looking good, isn't it? Yeah, but then the king gets to the wonderful square e8. Oh, yeah. Then you try to play knight e5 and pretend you, you meant it all. I mean, obviously you didn't. <laughs> but, you know, it, it doesn't matter. You know, the imp oh, that's a oh. move. I mean, it's even if it completely wins, it's it's really sad. You know, swapping queens at that moment is really such a shame. Now rook f7, now you pretend you can play chess again. Okay, so knight c6 is going to be strong. Yeah, it's oh oh is that going to win all the pieces in the board? Oh, yeah, it's, okay. it's going to win everything. Okay, that's going to, that's going to win enough pieces that. Sorry, I mean it's just I do think swapping queens is. I don't approve. Yeah. No, no king d six wins doesn't because of rook a seven actually. Okay, right, excellent. Okay. So, 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 so should we look at? The, uh, I'm assuming Zoe will win this now. I, I would hope so. I'm yeah. Sure she will. So should we look at Louise and see? Yeah, yes, she... please. Yes. Um. Okay, here's Louise. Uh, round three. Okay, uh, let's flip it. We are black in this position. Yeah. She plays a cockroach, does she? That's... <laughs> oh, no, not, yeah, I play. Is it? Yeah, she's supposed to go knight d to f6 in that position, but people don't. And that's an awful knight g3 is a wimbly move yeah because now this knight's got no squares that knight on g3 really well it can go back to e4 but but now now black's equalized because actually the i mean i used to play the knight d7 carry my whole life and i always thought as long as they don't play the main lines and splat me it'll be fun but if they do then it won't <laughs> you know when i played really strong opponents they sometimes yeah. splatted the hell out of me you know if i played tal or somebody he would just think don't yeah. be ridiculous boy he was quite nice as well, of course. And the boy would get splatted. Now, yeah, no, just take is fine. And indeed, knight c5, is that knight e5? Yeah, I'm not sure. Queen f3, knight e6, absolutely fine position. Queen b6, it's the pawn. Bishop c1's a pathetic move, isn't it? Uh, now, Looks like she's doing quite well now. Um, she's got a leading development. But yeah. Um, I don't know if you, that was right or if maybe you could have taken and played knight d6. I don't know. Takes, takes. Uh, this is still better. Better for black because you just have... I, I would want to get in king g7 at some point. I don't want a bat rank trick happening. Now, be careful. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Ugh. Check. Back to check. That's always a horrible move. <laughs> Pulsing move. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, it really is. I mean, she, you know, she's gone from an equal position to completely lost in one, one withering blow. Yeah. Okay. It's not quite up to where the game is yet. <laughs> Oh, what are you? I mean, these major piece ender games quite often end violently, don't they? Oh, this well, one. Well, well, on this one, it's definitely not fun for for white because because the king is so awful. Queen d five looked more natural, but uh, yeah, I don't see an absolute crushing blow. But I mean, I would be starting to improve my position now as as black. I'd go 
if you have to go into a rook ending, you'd like just like your pawns a bit better. I'd go a5 first, I think. I don't see the point of going rook e6 at all because you're actually what well, you want the file further from the king, really. And she's probably should. Oh, it's getting less. No, no, her I mean, a drawer actually. It's hard well, to know. She hasn't done it very well. I mean, she's put her king in a bad square. Okay, she can try to make a pass C pawn or something. Yeah. Now, if C4, now can you play rook takes pawn? Pawn takes pawn, check. King back, rook takes, and yeah, the, you don't don't connect in time. Okay, she's she's okay again, just about maybe. Ah, oh, she's defended. Yeah. Oh, okay. this rook goes onto a funny square. You can check. Yeah. Okay. And now she's winning. Well done. Now she's winning. But um, if we go back a bit, then she could have got a rook ending, a much better rook ending, and. At some point, you know, allowing f4, f5, and having to play the horrible move f6 yeah. is really not what. You, if we go, if we go, if we go back to here at this point, yeah, then I mean, probably a5 is the right move. I think you just sort of expand gently on the queen side. If they go rook to the seventh, you can go b5, rook a7. Or maybe that's a problem. There is rook d3 check. Yeah, you, or you, or you play rook d7 here now. Because it's much better that your rook controls. So just here now, rook to seven. Yeah, I mean that's okay. But I yeah. mean, I, I mean, I would have. Look, I mean, if we go back another couple of moves, I wouldn't have played. Um, well, I would have left my queen somewhere in the middle of the board and not sort queens probably. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, queen what d four or queen d one or something. Queen d1, there's queen c3. Queen d4 is a reasonable square. Uh, but, I mean, okay, it's not so easy. This. So you can take and go rook d3 check as well. You could take and go rook d3 check, and if king g2, then go king f6 maybe even. Yeah, because um, g5 check, rook to the 7th might be okay. Or you can go king f8. Just stop them coming in and then start to improve on, on the queen side. I mean, yeah. it's not, not trivial, you know, none of it is trivial, but you've cut their king off, you're going to start advancing your A pawn. Yeah, yeah. You can see three playing A5, B, A5, B5, C5, C4 or something. Just try, try, trying to break open the queen side so you get your rook to A3. Yeah. Eventually you just try to win the position, you get complete control and win. Because the trouble was F5, we ended up with disconnected pawns didn't we here on the king well, after f5 when she took and played f6 she's weakening her king i mean it's really a shame what she's done because i mean this at this stage but you didn't ha oh you do have to take it because otherwise there's this fork coming in yeah. yeah i mean after take take probably you can play rookie five at this moment um but it's not that clear yeah because an f6 check king g6 is just good but yeah. they play king g4, and then they try to play h4, h h4, and h5 before they play f6. Yeah. Oh, and then you don't have king g6 square. Yeah. Yeah. But you probably go rook e5, king f4, rook b5 is a good square. Because then you've got rook b4 check. But it, it's still, it's not so easy. Yeah. You know. It, Shall we have a quick look at um, Nina's game? Yes, well. certainly. Yes. Uh, Nina, here, round three. And we do have a black win, which is nice. Let's flip it round so we can see it. Okay, she's playing the Dutch. C5 is great. Well, um, it the Clarendon Court, doesn't it? Like John Levitt used to name it the Clarendon Court. He it's did, but it was a slightly different right. position. That was after <laughs> I played C4. Uh, I just wasn't sure if it was weakening or not. But if you can get control of D5, it's quite nice. What does she do? No, she's got weakened herself a bit. I mean, she's all right. 
her opponent is doing quite bad. I don't like that move at all. I don't see why you would give up the centre. White, white D takes C5, you don't Yeah, I, just, I don't yeah. see any reason to give up the centre at all. Yeah. You know, but because now black has a bit of space. And I will also have kept my bishop, I think. I like my bishops. Yes. So now she moves it back. Yeah, so why should we be taking it? Actually, that's quite an unpleasant. Ooh. Yeah. Well, she, right. She's managed to get her queen trapped, which is suboptimal. She's given up a whole rook. She did win this game. Yeah, well, the, these girls, I mean, they, they ran out of time a bit. Yeah. Which is fortunate. I mean, because. It has, it has it has to be said that white seems to be a rook up <laughs> white, is a, white is a rook up with a better position yes <laughs> and actually at this point she's fighting quite hard I mean, yeah yeah she's still, she's still not doing very well but queen f2 but i mean she's it's got a hell of a lot better actually it's the end of the game white lost on time here <laughs> Well, this place has like Queen F2 probably, then Queen F4, then the game continues. Yeah. I actually now think Nina would have won even if it had carried on. Well, well, I think she would in this position, yes, probably. Yeah. Because Bishop F3 is the sort of thing that people don't like facing at Blitz. But, yeah. but, but, but I mean, obviously, four moves before White was a rook up for absolutely. A rook up good. and a good position. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well I mean, also. Playing G4 really didn't didn't improve the uh, king's defences. That's true. Yeah, there was no need. Well, there, there was need not, rather. Yes. <laughs> um, all right, the last one is May. Let's see her. Um, okay, and May, round three. And we have a white win, which was May. Good. Let's see what it was. Oh, I like it. Sorry, no one else does, but I like the King's Gambit. Oh, I don't disapprove. I have, you know, I have people who, who play the King's Gambit I look at it with. I mean, I have the great, in fact, I have two, two copies of the great volume by, who's it by, of the Scottish guy. Oh, um, Quality press. Uh, uh, it isn't all guard, no, um, and it's certainly not McNabb. Um, who is it? Uh, it's John. Andrew uh, Greek? No, uh, not Andrew Greek. The other guy. Other. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> sorry, I'm really bad at that. I mean, I lose people's names. Uh, good player who I drew within the Olympiad once. Um, I got to just think of Scottish players. Montwani. No, no. Um, um, Grandmaster about 24. Andrew Muir. No, no. Not Andrew, yeah. He's um, a Scottish players. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. We could, if we could, you could look up quality press. The, the chat must, John Shaw says the chat. Yeah, John, John Shaw says the chat. Well done. I, I can't. Thank John you, Shaw. Blue Thank you very, yeah, it's John Shaw. He wrote a <laughs> splendid book on the King's Gambit of about 800 pages or 500, which I use with people who insist on playing this terrible. Now, the, basically, the King's Gambit is a wonderful opening unless Black does something about... If you can just recapture an F4, then you've got, got a very good position. Yeah. Because you've got rid of a centre pawn for a slightly less centralised pawn. And there's no reason you shouldn't have the advantage. And White does have a clear advantage in this position. Uh, Chat says King Gambit is OK for White as long as Black doesn't take the pawn. Hello, Lawrence. How are you? I should probably have replied to some of your I... about Wood Green at some point. <laughs> but, but you know, I don't, I don't really play chess of, of any length at all, and I online, so I'm not really in the market. Uh, yeah, that, that seems to be taking quite a lot of a lot of lumps here and there. Uh, yeah, okay. Or take the Good bishop. Night first, can't you? Yeah. Open the box, indeed. Yeah. 
How far I got it down to F one myself, but there we are. I think it doesn't make any difference. Good. Yes, well, it's fun. Natasha asked me yesterday, and I have to go at some point when my wife gets home, but that won't be for a while. So I can carry on for a while. Oh, excellent. Good. Because it's quiet. I mean, I feel if she's been away for a few days, then probably I ought to, ought to speak. Yes. <laughs> <Don't tell well. laughs> How are your strokes, Natasha? What are they up to? Well, now my uh, they they are now almost almost not sprogs anymore. As in, Oscar is now eighteen. He. Oh, um, oh, oh, I can still call my son twenty-seven. The sprog occasionally. I'm sprog. But, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, he could punch me if he wanted to, but he doesn't. <laughs> yeah. So he's eighteen. And yeah, the exciting thing he did the other day was pass his driving theory test. Oh God, I, I'd never yeah. learned to drive, but, but I mean, I mean, it's, it's a mercy to other other road users that I've never had. <laughs> <laughs> I would be appalling. I really would. Uh, so he's eighteen. He's passed his driving. And how good is he at bridge? He um, he's um, a regular member of the junior team, the English junior team. Yeah, and he was under twenty six, is it? It's under 26, yeah, 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 yeah. So he's been playing, I, I think he started, there was, they introduced the under 16s, which was a new concept. That was, that's the younger stage they do. It was originally under 21 was the younger stage. Uh, and what did they yeah. call the under 16s? The teenies? The, what did they? It's kids. Under 16 was kids. Yeah. Um, under, one was youth and one was junior. Right. And, uh, youth, junior and kids. Oh, they call them kids. That's quite. They actually called them kids for under sixteen. Yeah. Were, yeah, they yeah, offended? Yeah. Were they offended? No, I mean, well, they thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, they are, of course. They are spoglets, really. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and then, um, and my daughters are now. My twin daughters are now sixteen. God, they're, 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 they're twin, twin, twin sixteen-year-old twins was quite a handful, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, they kind of stick up for themselves. <laughs> Good. Well, I'm very pleased to hear it. Yeah. But I just, you know, I've got one sprung, and, you know, it's sort of enough at the time. Obviously, he's 27 now. He doesn't. Uh, uh, but, I mean, you know. What's he up to now, John? Well, he did his degree in ancient languages. That's um, basically Babylonian and things. And at oh, the yeah. moment, he's working for somebody called Coconut Collective, if you've heard of them. They they make uh, vegan desserts, basically. So he does some. But I think he might might be training to do something a bit more academic in a bit. I don't know. We'll see. Coconut collection, did you say? Collective, I think it's not quite collective. They they do um, very nice um, sort of coconut yogurts and things, and he does sort of distribution management and generally sorts it all out. Yeah. Probably standing on his head though, really. <laughs> wow. Oh. How is everybody else? So who do we have in the chat? So we have Lawrence. I don't know who Blue yeah. Grey Hayes is. Blue Grey Hayes, I probably shouldn't. Blue Grey Hayes, if you're prepared to name yourself, I probably should know who you are. Um, yeah. Blue yeah, Grey Hayes. I, I, I mean, Natasha, I saw Natasha on my stream on twitch.tv forward slash John Spielman, and I thought it said echt commentary rather you than... You asked me if I was German. <laughs> well, because well, I thought it said echt. Yeah. Well, ECF, EC, and, and no, it was you, which was nice. So mm. So, so, I mean, you know, because uh, how many people have got in the commentary? Not very many, I imagine. Not very many, no, just a few. Um, yeah. Well, well, it's nice. A four, it says, does it? Is that what it says? Yeah. Well, it's fine. I mean, it's just it's fun to do this for a bit. It's interesting to see how good the players... Your friend... Old and unknown from Tyneside. <laughs> I bet yeah. I do know. I know, I think I do, I do. I met you at the Tyneside tournament, I think. That's probably right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you say unknown, I mean, I doubt if you're unknown to your family or your friends. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, so. So now, I th when does, I'm just going to check when round four starts. I think they have a slight break between rounds yeah. three and four, and then it carries on again every... Uh, uh, um, are they, are they, they change to their chairs by their webcams or something? Or pull they them. probably do, don't they? Round well, if they have a break, maybe they're allowed to, to move. Uh, I mean, I must say, I do... As I said, I don't like any of it. Um, I mean, I you know, I, I like playing Blitz. I haven't actually for ages on... You know, it depends how my mouse is feeling. If I play too much Galactic Civilizations, my mouse gets cross, and playing mm -hmm. this probably gets difficult. You know, there are too many repetitive actions, which 
upset the poor darling. So you've, you've played. So you're playing quite a lot of other games that aren't chess then at the yeah, moment. I don't play real time games. I play Galsir, which is a turn based strategy and not bad. I mean, it takes too long, and in the ending when you're winning, it's a bit tedious because you have to do each move takes sort of twenty minutes or something of fiddling around, optimizing when you really don't need to. What's it called again? Galactic Civilizations Three. Yeah. It's uh, it is. Uh, Stardock, it's not a bad game. Mm. It, it has some quite amusing features. I mean, it's by originally written by some right wing American who, I mean, quite a nice right wing American, but so in the in the opening, then if you tax them at all, then they get completely hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> your, your citizens, unless they're robots, robots don't mind being taxed, but everybody else does. But later on, you have wonders, so you can tax them at 90% and they don't care at all. And you know, you just think this is quite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how it's going to end, but you just got to go through the motions. Well, when you, you just have to get your wonders, and you know. Anyway, it's quite, quite fun. I've been playing Dominion. Have you ever tried that? I've never played Dominion. What is Dominion? Tell me. Dominion's nice. It's um, it's like a a, a deck card game, and you kind of start off with just coins, and then you buy cards that let you do things, and then oh, at the right. end you have to get victory points. <laughs> Right. And is it a one-person game, or do you play against other people? Or? No, it's uh, the online version. You mainly play against two people, but you can play up to six players. Right. Um, and it's quite a good. I, I know that um, also Gawain and Sue play it. Right. Um, and it's it's quite well known. It's one of the ones you know. There's like these Euro games that were basically made in Germany, and so one of them is like Settlers of Catan. You might have heard of. I've, I've heard of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's. <laughs> I'll have a look now. I'll we'll see what it has to say to me. Yeah. I mean, I mean, um, I, um, I, mean, I know that Peter Spiller plays Hearthstone, doesn't he? And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've never tried that. No, he actually streams in Hearthstone. Uh, Dominion Rio Grande Games. Yeah. Deck building, winner of the Spiel des Jahres in 2008 and many other awards. Dominion has established itself as... Hi, Wilsonia. How are you doing? Classic. With more than a dozen expansions currently available, players will always be able to find new challenges. If you've never played Dominion before, start here with the basic game. There are millions yeah. of different combinations that can be played. Well, that's, that's a surprise when you have a few different cards. <laughs> Each game is different, but only lasts 20 to 30 minutes. Great for two players, but just as just as fun, maybe just as much fun if we were going to do it mm. in English. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. any, any other games from the commentary? Hello, Will, Wilsonia85. Uh, any other games that are recommended? Because, I mean, I do get a bit bored. I, I mean, also a game of Gals. Well, have you, have you, Sean, but this is a serious one. Have you ever played Shogi? Um, tiny, tiny bit. I'm not really. Because <laughs> that's what I have been playing quite a bit of. And, um, well, and if you're fact... a Go player as well, aren't you? And Go, I play. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah. I've, I mean, I do play Go. I haven't played so much in lockdown, but in Shogi, I have. And there's been this World Shogi League, right. and um, and so I'm part of the English second team. And right. Matthew Sadler is as well. So we 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 both and um, a couple of also Martin Hamer, you might know. He's That's in it. And, right. um, yeah, yeah, because Les Blackstock's been European champion, hasn't he? Uh, I played. I've actually. I think I might have beaten Les, Les Blackstock, although he's a better player than me. That's scandalous. Yeah, and so he turned up because um, uh, Matthew and I organised a tournament in, um, you know, the Young Chelsea Bridge Club. Uh, there, do, there was yeah. a Chelsea Bridge Club, um, which was at Goldhawk Road. It's moving now, um, but we uh, organised a the tournament virtual or real. Real. This was this was at the start of twenty twenty. Must have been like January, right. February twenty twenty. Right. And we had we had maybe you know more than ten players. Yeah. Um, of shogi, which is like a quite a high proportion of the number of players that regularly play in England. Right. Um, it was really nice. Yeah, it's it's a, because if you if you can do the tactics at chess, um, yeah. you can uh, do the because all shogi game is it's a bit like exchange yeah. chess for one person. Because if you take yeah, 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 yes, I, I know what the rules are vaguely. Vaguely. Yeah. But well, I mean, Harbu is a fantastic. It is Harbu, isn't it? Who's uh, he's he's the shogi player rather than the go player. Yes, yeah, uh, and yeah, he, yeah, and he plays chess as well, doesn't he? He's well, like he, he, he won, 
a fantastic game against Peter Wells once, just by sacrificing. I've game. seen this game, and it was like a bishop takes h two or some kind well, of. Thing. Well, a lot more got sacrificed because, of course, first he's a games player, a proper games player, and secondly, he can calculate, of course, like a dream, you know. Yeah. So he just yeah. played some ridiculous attack. Yeah. Which was, uh, it's a bit vexing that somebody from a different sphere could do it that well. But I suppose, you know, in, in sheer hackery, in sort of uh, Yugoslav attacks, Sicilians and things, he ought to be very good. Yeah. Well, because like all the Shogi games, they end, or um, like the puzzle books, they're yeah. pretty much these puzzles where every single move is a check and you do check, 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 and then check yeah. later at the end. I realize. So it's all these really forced um, sequences. Yeah, indeed. Yes, I realise. Yes, I mean I play. Used to play what we call baby chess or bug house or whatever. But fun, but not. But normally with other people, people after drinking and things, which is very nice. There's a pair of people screaming at each other. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. certainly more more fun than. Whereas um, um, the, the the one person game online must be quite fun. Do you play any other var the variants on online? I don't know. Porn rush or something? No, I haven't played so much of that stuff. There was um, some competitions as part of the Mind Sports Olympiad yeah. uh, where I did try it out, but I didn't know the rules so much before, so I wasn't an expert at it. No, well, I mean, I think you just sort of if it, if it's if it's the chess pieces, then one ought to have some idea what's going on, I suppose, but not very much because you don't, you know. The, 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 there will be certain technical things about a pull and rush, how you yeah. try to control, or how you try to break control. Yeah. For instance. Do you, you do you play those variants? No, no, no I don't. I, I don't really play other games because I basically I like to be able to calculate. I mean, because the way I play chess is just by calculating in vast quantities, uh, and so I don't even play draft because you know I just like to, I feel comfortable when I can calculate automatically. If I can't, yeah. I don't feel that comfortable. So I don't. Other games like Shogi or Go, uh, and Go, you can't calculate anyway, can you? You, you have to just know. Well, it's 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 a, it's a mixture because there's there's these because it's such a big board. Then some of the moves you play, particularly in the opening, and you just have to play by the feeling of it, and and you know yeah. which one. But then when you're trying to kill a particular group. Because then you have to calculate. That's very heavy calculation again, and yeah, uh, yeah. so it's a, a mixture, and mm. um, probably a bit more strategy compared with tactics than you have yeah. in chess. Mm. Yeah. No, well, I mean, I don't really play those games. I just, I sort of think of myself as a chess player. I mean, I play. Somebody, somebody said about bridge. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, of course, there are new bidding systems. People use Blackboard. I think they tend to use modified Blackboard, don't they? I mean, you play bridge probably much more than I do. Yeah, and um, so yes, there's this Blackwood and then the Roman keycard Blackwood. Um, and my son does do Blackwood, uh, but he'll have these other systems before you even get to a slam where you pretty much know you're going for slam. And, and yeah. uh, so, so he'll, a few bidding and, and yeah, and for you know, like if, if you do one club and then you raise it to two clubs and that's a forcing bid, for example. Um, and, uh, yeah. So does he play Akal or does he play something different? No, he does. It's, it's more um, the American systems he plays. So it's like five card majors. Right. Well, like he loves me because I do play Akal. Does he play strong no trumps then? Good heavens. If he does, yes, he plays strong no trumps. It's American, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So weak no trumps because if you do one no trump and then they, um, the opponents double you, you can get into quite a bit of a mess. Because you're no trumps so weak. Yeah. All right. Uh, he doesn't like that. I mean, it's just obviously people just play different things and whatever suits them. Yeah. And I think the trend has been, he's been telling me, the trend has been to open the bidding on fewer and fewer points as time goes on. So you kind of have, um, actually, it doesn't have to be that strong a hand for you to open at all. And you laugh and and yeah. uh, and that's it. So, so, so playing a little bit more more of an aggressive um, yeah. system actually seems to help than... Uh, well, certainly if you have some spades, you tend to open, don't you? If you oh, yes, yes, yes. If you possibly can. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I, I haven't played bridge for years, but yeah. Sort of, yeah. 
Yeah, I used to play bridge at the foreign CLs sometimes. We used to yeah. all stay up in the VAR and play bridge. I never did that. I mean, we played at university, but I mean... Uh, I'm a, Joe Gallagher did write a book at the King's Gambit. That's exactly right. That sounds, sounds very... So why am I at Beth 59? This isn't somebody three years younger than me, I suppose, is it? It could be. Could be. Could be somebody, uh, another codger, uh, <laughs> possibly. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we won coppers, but I was the weakest player in my in my team. I think by, by some way, probably, but we did win coppers. I went to um, Cambridge with Oscar, and uh, just in the street, we we bumped into John Mestel. Oh, right. Just by chance. Huh? And how was? Oh, I mean, I'm in touch with him, obviously. Yeah. No, he was fine. He's still playing a lot of bridge. Yes, he is. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But yeah. well, well, he is Dr. Dr. Grandmaster, 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 isn't he? Or is he Dr. Dr. Grandmaster, Grandmaster, Grandmaster? He, he's is th he? He, he? He's thrice a Grandmaster, yes. So Grandmaster, okay, so that must be chess, bridge, is it, and problem solving? Yes. Yeah. He's probably Dr. Doctor as well. I, I, I mean, he's certainly got, got more titles than John Nunn, which is a great, great joy to him, I'm sure. I bet they used to have a competition of it in the old days. Well, well John, John is probably only Grandmaster, Grandmaster, isn't he? I think. Yeah. And obviously he's Doctor. Yeah, but he doesn't do bridge, I think. Or... No, he doesn't. So he may only be Doctor, Grandmaster, Grandmaster, which is really, you know, a bit, a bit thin, really, isn't it? Yeah. Omar Sharif. Yeah, yeah. He was a bridge player and actor, wasn't he? I got yeah. these um, old videos um where you can and they and they had it as of, of the bridge players but they were all smoking all the way through um and and so they would they they had kind of uh two lots of four and they play the different the same hands but in the other room so a bit like a duke and they're all smoking and and and, and where, where they're all cheating where, where they put their, their their butts in the ashtrays oh i don't know what they did after that they but they were definitely one was smoking cigarettes i think one was even smoking pipe and they but then they were kind of blowing it at their opponents and they were... <laughs> well, well didn't bot Fennick at one point when he was training for one of his matches didn't he play somebody who who had to blow cigarette smoke at him during the game oh so just to train so that he yeah, didn't I believe get... so, yeah oh gosh how unpleasant yeah Maybe somebody can remember. Can I get to be a moment? And then I, you know, okay. then I hope that when are they starting? In a minute. Actually, they? in a couple of minutes. So they should be starting very, very soon. Yeah. All right. Let's let's recap who we um, who we are playing. Actually, we are going to be playing against Georgia um, this game. And actually, just looking at ratings, I know we can't tell much from the ratings on this site because I think they're probably all quite new players to the site. But it does seem quite. Um, an evenly matched game. So Louise is taking on Leela Koridzi. I guess I could look up in the background uh, what their actual ratings are. Um, let's see. Is it Koridzi? Uh, Leela Koridzi, yes. Uh, Oh, actually, that is her standard rating, 2016. I think these are their actual three-day ratings. Um, so, yeah, so this should be a good game. Um, and Zoe against Tamari, Nina against Dizia, and Miriam against May, Caitlin, Rose, Caspi. Go, uh, oh, horsey chess. All right, the crowd is cheering for horsey chess. Oh, indeed. Um, is there any particular way one? One cheers at equestrian events. Again, John. Is that hi? Yeah. Is there any hi. any particular way that the crowd cheers at horsey events at equestrian? Oh, I see. Yes, a, a, a proper horsey cheer. Yeah. How do you do? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, I assume that the the, the, the the neighing is by the horses rather than by the crowd, but I mean, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Let's watch her and see how she does. Sorry. Let's see how she's. Uh, so I, I, I'm being be... silly rather than rude. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> they should be starting about now. Let's let's click and see if, uh, if they are. So Zoe. So this is round four. Mm -hmm. and does she, does she like her horses at chess, or is it horsey in a different way? Why is she called horsey chess? But well, does she like horses or does she like knights? Oh, I mean, it must be 
It's must, isn't it? I mean, yeah, yeah. Actually, I've never asked her where it comes from, but must be that she calls them horses. You, you are well. I was born in '56, mate. So yeah, so, 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 so I, I'm a toucher, senile. <laughs> here, here we go. Right. I'm going to flip it. Uh, so she's just playing the chess. Good. Is here we go. Up, is she going to upset Mr. Dodgy? No, she doesn't. Doesn't play knight f6. Oh, I see. But which is which is banned in the Mr. Dodgy Blitz tournaments, the big ones. Oh, really? Yeah. Which is ridiculous in some ways. <laughs> Um, Beth was born in 1959. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, but well, well, I assume normally people when they have those handles are there. Yeah. So Wilsonia was probably born in 85. Yeah. Probably. Probably. Although I do, I do have a friend. I do some um, Dominion streaming, and I have a friend who. Um, who has it a 1974 handle, but she definitely wasn't born in 1974. Oh, we got a Marshall. Got a Marshall. Oh, wow. Right. Now, what does she know about the Marshall? I mean, what do I know about the Marshall? Subtle, basically. But I mean, I I know that they, they play D3 much more nowadays. Uh, between H4, I thought, to H3. I think this is a terrifying position unless you know exactly what you're doing, which should be three. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't think you were supposed to take. I thought that was quite a bad idea, actually. For white? Yeah, because because you've improved Black's position. I mean, now, well, now you can go. Isn't Rook A8 already really strong? Isn't that oh, probably winning, actually, isn't it? Because if take there, Bishop B3, Bishop B4 resigns. Is there any way to defend after Rook A8? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Uh, so what about Bishop G? Well, well uh, oh, I see. So you got that move now. Is Bishop four a move now? Uh, let's think. Take, take, rook over. There's knight d two, which is still holding. Just it's possible. This is a variation, of course. Uh, take, take, Bishop d three. Then there is Queen g two. So is there a hit here? I don't know. Actually, this is interesting. I'm mm. guessing. I didn't think this was supposed to be possible, but I could be completely wrong. Um, so you don't want to take and play rook e8, because after knight d2, white has sort of sorted stuff out. Um, this may be theory, but it looks to me like it's very bad theory. I bet it is theory. But then, so what do you do? Um, well, bishop... I'm looking. Um, I mean, yeah. one move is, is bishop f4 a move? Probably queen g2, then, is a good answer. Um Um, maybe rookie six, I don't know, in order to play queen g2, queen h5. Do that. I don't know. Um, I'm actually quite interested. I mean, I, I mean I would, if I was to stream myself, I'd turn an engine on now and say, or actually, I'd, I'd ask a, um, a Right, well, first I could reference. I suppose I could go to chess base and do reference. Does anybody know? Does anybody have a chess base to hand? Well, well, well now you go queen g2, clearly. It's the only move. And, uh, knight, oh. a, knight a3. It's also possible, maybe. Take it. She has. Yeah. I mean, the thing about this is that now black is two pawns. Yeah, you can just go queen d7 and play chess. And you're doing that. Oh, because you play bishop d5 in a minute. You go takes. Okay, that's square as well. Take, take, rook over. Take, take, bishop. Bishop d5. Then there's g4, which ought to draw, I think. So if takes, takes, rookie one. Takes, takes. Oh, maybe queen. Bishop d5, though, is really strong now, shall we? Oh, yeah. But, but, but there is g4. That's why I thought maybe f5 or d7. So clear this. Did they? All oh, right, well, so you're probably right. Now g4 must be the move. Have to play g4. Yeah, absolutely forced. And that's quite annoying, actually, because it messes up the attack. That's why the queen isn't great on h5. 
Well, it would have been good in d7 because he could have forced f3 and then mm -hmm. attacked queenside later. I mean, because now you have to take and go back, and this is actually okay for white now. Black can t play bishop d6 to make black. Yeah, you take. Now you go bishop bishop d6 to make black take himself, herself. Oh, bishop d6 now. Well, oh, then you have to take on e1, yeah. Which is an annoyance. You don't want to have taken an e1. Yeah. Take, take. Yeah, and now maybe h6 is interesting. I don't know. h6 I'd probably play, I think. Because I don't particularly want bishop takes. But maybe I could just move the bishop. That I don't. When I bishop h5, I don't see what you gain by doing that at all. I suppose you've driven the bishop away. But it doesn't. I would have. Should be okay for black now, I think. I mean, unless the b pawn can start running in a, a minatory fashion. F6 now, definitely. F6, you need to get the bishop back. I might be okay as well, h6, I suppose. King g2, probably. Mm -hmm. Good move. Push to there. F3 and rook to the seventh, or rook to the seventh and f3. G3, is it possible? Rook to the seventh now. You don't mind giving up that a pawn? Well, I'm going to look at Double pawn. Yeah, the other move you can play as him. Yeah. But after takes rook over bishop a, bishop c4 actually protects because of the, the b4 hit. Now bishop c4 protects the a pawn, which is annoying. Yeah, good move. Good move, madam. Um, mm -hmm. Now maybe rook takes b4, rook. Can you go rook a4 then? Is there a trick? Uh, There's not a trick, is there? There's no way you can queen a pawn. So actually, white's won a pawn now. Uh, that's pointless, Bishop. Well, it threatens b4, but you move the rook. Must move the rook to stop b4 happening. Yep, do. Now, probably time for f6 and just sit there to the f3 or something. I would, I would like to give myself a dark square to go back to, but I mean, uh, yeah, take it. Check. Yeah, certainly don't go to the H line if you don't want to be mated. Now I should go to E3. Probably. Now you're going to try to get in C4 and D5 as white. Now, the, the big thing in these endings is whether you can get past the squares of the opposite coloured bishop. So you want to go C4 and yeah. there, you go, there you go C4 or well, mate yeah C4 to play D5. Oh, she's protecting her pawn. That's very greedy, but not H5. <laughs> H5. Oh, with a threat. Now, the question whether the threat is real is a question, but yeah, that also stops the threat. You can just go rook H4 now. Oh yes, because actually you've got enough pawns at this point, and that's winning for white now. This is winning, huh? Yeah, yeah. Because, because you're just going to be able to play king d4, c4, c5, c6, yeah. king c5, d6, d7, and win a bishop, at least. Very, quite a difficult game, actually. Mm. Uh, now, can I can I pick up this? Well, wait a minute, I'm just going to go into a chess space. Excuse me, I'm going to, yeah. what do you want to ask? E4. I'm, I'm just playing the moves up to, up to this bit of the marshal. So she went. Um, sorry, my, as I said, my mouse is a bit recalcitrant today. Do you want to remember the early moves? Yeah, of course. Castles. Yeah. I'm just playing the moves. Yeah. Playing, yeah. playing through them. D5, Bishop E3, Castles, C3, D5, takes 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 c6 did she she took it once and see on on d5 didn't she take take d4 bishop d6 rookie one queen h4 yeah. g3 queen h3 queen f3 bishop f5 queen takes pawn rook a8 bishop d2 I'm asking an engine, a decent engine, what's supposed to happen. Yeah. It's saying equals, actually. 
It's saying Bishop D3, Knight A3, takes, takes is best play and is equal. Okay. And it is giving me, I'm just going to reference in my chess base. No games found? Really? Hi, Sophie Rose. Any games? G3. F5. Yeah, Bishop D2 has been played. I've got a game, Christensen against Christensen. Okay. Uh, oh, are they? Christensen CA against Christensen Yanu, Blitken Cup. Uh, Helsingor is, um, what are we, Elsinore, isn't it? Uh, they went take, take, rookie eight, knight D2, rookie six. And black one, in fact, in the end, but that's not particularly interesting. Okay, so apparently okay. This, this this may be playable for. And uh, uh, this is actually what they say: take take bishop c four equals ish is what they say, which is reasonably fair, I suppose. Okay, uh, I mean, obviously, you've got tremendous play for your two two pawns. The, the, this one, um. Probably started to go wrong when she allowed g4, when she played queen h5 and bishop yeah. and allowed g4. But yeah, this queen h5, so you reckon um, queen yeah. right. back to d7 is better? Yeah. Yeah. I think so, yeah. I thought queen d7 and bishop d5 was absolutely fine. If take, yeah. take, rookie one, take, take, bishop d5, you're in no danger whatsoever as black, I would say. Yeah. Might be be, I mean, you've got an easy blockade. Whether you can play to win is another matter. But so Queen H5 looked better because you were attacking F3, yeah. but, it, but it teed up for this. But this G4 up. came in, hitting the Queen. Yeah. Well, what, what happened? She went, well, how did she do it? She went Bishop F4, did she? And, and after G4, yeah. I think White's well, slightly better. And to exchange, yeah. Uh, but because cause you, 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 cause, cause you have to defend the Bishop. So at this point, after bishop d6 in particular is really annoying because it um because it forces black to take. Now I thought I thought h6, but I think it's slightly better for white at this point. That I don't I don't yeah, I thought h6 to mess these pawns up. Yeah. And then bishop c5 and then rook e3. Maybe you can go rook to d5 though. But but I mean you can go rook e3, you don't get mated over as white. Yeah, I thought that might be plus equals. Okay, and cool. She lost the A pawn, and then she lost. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The next game, I think, is starting. Should we quiz through Louise's game? Yeah, sure. Just see what happened. Yeah. That would be round, or wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, right, yeah. but we'll go really fast. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Mm. So, oh, and. We get a sneak preview. Louise didn't win this. Right, okay. Okay, you can take on c4 and win a pawn in this position. I mean, you do actually win a pawn at this stage. Okay. Uh, uh, which is slightly annoying. I mean, it's irritating. So you went queen takes, I assume? e3? Yeah. Yeah, this is, I mean, I tend to go a3 at some point to try to make a bit of trouble, but yeah. Don't know if you can play e5 at this moment. Don't like that. Yeah, you can. Just... That shouldn't happen, do you think? Well, I mean, it depends whether there's a. Well, that's queen h5. She's going to have bishop g4, isn't she? Mm. Now, so is she recaptured? Take on d5 if takes, then bishop g4, actually. I'm not sure if that was right. Oh, oh no, there's still bishop f3, which is winning for black. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's happened. Yeah, okay, well now. Oh, yeah, this is it. It's gone. Well, well, well she also got it complete. She got it wrong because uh, I think we could probably. I don't know. Well, anyway, it's a terrible position now. Mm. Um, Should we check I mean, out Nina's as well? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the pawn in d5, although it's weak, it controls some important white squares. Uh, uh, so Nina's was this one. And black one. Oh no, so black one. This one. 
it's just well, again we're just let's see. they're quite an experienced team aren't they i'm just giving them experience. Yeah. yeah 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 um they did qualify they, they they had um there was sort of some online events i think it was last week yeah. and the four well, players well well done well done uh not particularly impressed by night g3 by the way in this it's basically oh. a line down in a line of the 97 caro which isn't particularly dangerous to black anyway Again, the knight in g3 is in a pretty awful square. Unless you can get in queen h5, you can get knight, knight h5 now. Queen f3, can you play b6 here or do you want to? Not even trying to. Uh, rook b8 looks wrong. Um, a6 would have been a good idea. Now, knight, can you go knight b5 now and win a pawn? I suppose you can. There is a bishop g4 hit. There's a bishop g4 mm -hmm. hit in the middle of that. So knight b5, well, not. Maybe bishop, really. maybe bishop g4 at once. Bishop g4, knight takes. No, no, I mean, bishop takes doesn't work, but knight b5 is critical. Or no, no, just knight f5, actually. Knight f5, the bishop is loose, and that's no good. So knight b5 is critical, because then you go bishop b5 and you're hitting the rook. And the yeah. question is what happens. So knight b5, some move. Queen b6 is, is critical. Bishop takes pawn, bishop g4. And what is going on? A lot of pieces, a lot of pieces on pre's. Um, queen f4, you see there's knight e6 maybe, but then you can defend your knight. Uh, probably okay for white, I think. But rather complicated. Mm. Um, I mean, it, it's hard to calculate immediately. Yeah. But, but, but certainly you should play knight b5. I mean, if you don't, you're going to lose material. So it's the only move you can play. Yeah. Because knight f5 isn't going to work at this point. What did she do? She took. Well, that's not going to work. Probably. Or, or, or maybe it is. Takes, takes, rook. Oh, can she go takes rook e1 and knight f5? That might be really clever, actually. Yeah, take, take rook e1. That's very good. No, but. She, oh, I see. No, knight to there. Yeah, knight h5, maybe. Mm. Wait a minute, let, 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 let's just stop stop here before, yeah. before rook a e1. Go back and move. Yeah. So can she play knight h5? Knight takes knight, queen takes knight g6. Doesn't look sound. Um, I don't think there's really a combination, unfortunately. Um, doesn't look like there is. She went rook a e1, which is a reasonable move. Probably you can even take on b2 though if you want to. What did she do? Bishop g4. Cut some pieces out. Knight e6. More pieces out. And basically you're you're now, you're now a, a piece down for not a vast amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that, now you're, yeah, that was on. That's consolidating. Oh no, you're taking. Maybe with the rooks loose. That's sad. Uh... She's fighting, but okay. She's she's lost all her pieces now. Yes, yeah, too much stuff. Too much right. stuff but she's fighting. Yeah. Okay, and, and right, crazy. are they starting again? They have started again. Yes. So round five, we are playing. Um, what's that? Botswana. So, so, so yeah. how many rounds are we playing? Nine today, are they? Yeah, there's another break after we could make we maybe stop after six because there's um, well, I think I'll stop. I mean, you can, yeah, maybe yeah, find yeah. reinforcements, but yeah, yeah, um, okay, so actually, let's see May because we didn't see her last, no, year. sure, let's see, I mean, May. Uh, you know, as I said, they're, they're not blundering very much, which is quite good at blitz, yeah, 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 yeah. When I believe it, sometimes I, I do. Good, and sometimes I'm just losing all my pieces. Well, me too, actually. It really annoys me. I mean, you know, I'm not supposed to lose all my pieces, really, at a certain point. I mean, I don't, you know, I think it's, I don't know how strong you have to be so that you shouldn't really be blundering. I think my, I think I'm at about 0.45 centipawns or something. What am I on, Luke? Yes, I shall tell you what I am at the moment. Centipawns per move. Um, just look at my profile. Yeah. I haven't played for ages, actually. 
uh, chess insights. I'm at point thirty-eight centre pawns a move according to their engine. Okay. So that's not. Too Is that good? I didn't. I didn't know. Well, that's a three chess. It's reasonable. I mean, it would be terrible at a at a far at a slow time limit, but it's all right at. D6 is not a great move, is it? But ah, now this is a king's gambit declined. It is, but declined with the, with the pull this one. Yeah, F8. this is good for white, I think. Yeah, is this, this is not what we just, oh no. This is, it's a different game, same player. Yeah, so bishop b5 or bishop c4, one of them. Bishop, bishop c4, I think. She's done it. And then are they playing now as we speak? Yes, they are. Yes, this is this is live. I wasn't sure bishop b5 or bishop c4 because bishop b5, bishop d7, d3, you can probably make them take an f4, which you're quite pleased about. Mm. They can try to go takes d4, bishop g4 here. I don't know. Yeah, now this must be a little bit better for white. I mean, f5 is always interesting if, if you're greedy. Yeah, there was. I had a trends book which was on a different kind of opening, but you, it transposed like this. And I think it was someone like maybe even Judith Polgar was playing f5 in this sort of position. Well, yeah, because she used to play King's Gambit, didn't she, when she was tiny? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she used to play King's Gambit. Yeah, well, she is a terrific hacker, of course. Uh, hacker extraordinaire. Okay, so now it takes takes and black must play d5 yeah well, what do you good now black should presumably play d5 as quickly as possible immediately if not sooner in fact <laughs> uh, to, to, to use the mr mr men <laughs> did, did you know that the, that is mr which which mr man is it is one of the mr. Kids used to like the mr men a lot yeah well your kids did yeah now bishop, yeah. Maybe use bishop g5 and get control of the d5 pulled G, G4 is a bit too early, unfortunately. But which Mr. was it? It was Mr. Greedy, actually. Was it? I used to like Mr. Uppity and Mr. Greedy. It was Miss, Mr. Arthur Loaf was in a was in a rage. Yeah, that's right. I, I want something immediately, if not sooner, which is just such a great yeah. point. <laughs> yeah, now Bishop G5 probably, but it's not... Oh, she's done. The, it's not that clear now. Queen d2 isn't a great square. Really is not a good square at all. Because um, what you want to do is to get the. Um, yeah, I think you probably had to. Mm -hmm. okay, no, you'd quite like to put your knight on e4, but it gets taken after knight g5. That takes and plays f6, which is annoying. Probably have to take that. You can play knight e4, but it's not. Yeah, you, they might take your bishop, I suppose. That, I mean, now you play. I would play bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop f6, and think I was equal as black. Perhaps slightly better, even. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about knight takes bishop. Knight takes bishop, and um, bishop takes knight and f6. So that's, not sure what yeah. I want. I mean, that's also perfectly playable. I definitely want to. I mean, maybe she'll go knight d4, actually. That might also be annoying. Knight d4. Uh, no, then knight c4 makes some sense in white's position. Perhaps. That's all right. That threatens bishop c5. But after knight c4, it doesn't make much sense. Or one of the knights to e4, knight c4, probably. Oh, that's sort of reasonable as well. I mean, now white's got a, got a, a square on, a nice square on um, a5 is neither here nor there. I don't know if the pawn was on yeah. pre a6, but still. Now f6 is a huge threat. So you really, yeah. And now you can't play f6, you see, because of knight e6. Well, you can, but it's not very. Okay, so she's got an h6 instead. Now, now the question is whether you can play f6 in this position. 
I suppose even if you drop your knight back, you're still threatening. Yeah, but, yeah, but you should play f6 herself, so you should play f6 now. You should play f6 now. So if f6 takes the knight, what do you do? Queen takes and okay. try for mate. Well, I don't try for mate, I succeed. <laughs> that is mate. If I may say so. <laughs> Yeah, well done. well done, Nicole. So I suppose black could go g6. Well, g6 is hard. I think you have to go queen g4, probably. g6, we play knight e4, king h7, rook h3. And that's pretty dangerous. Oh, yeah. Threatening uh, we're not quite threatening mate, annoyingly. Because so queen, queen can take h3 if we try yes, and do anything badly, too fast. Yes. Indeed. There's also a question, can you go queen d4 doesn't really help. Queen g3 now. She actually made things worse with queen g4 because she's got now queen g3 is the right move. Very definitely. It's good girl. She, yeah. She's a good attack and player, actually. Yeah. yeah. She's doing very well. Okay, 96 is now a threat amongst other g6 now just play knight e4 or you can play queen h3 that forces h5 can she well, do knight e6 now she could actually yes that would have won the exchange it's true uh that would have won the exchange i wasn't even looking uh i should have been yeah i mean that would have been now can we now give me it just just seemed a shame shame to give up but yeah that would have won mm. uh now probably rook f3 is a good idea is it Yes, I like rook f3 and then double up. But rook d1, I don't particularly understand, but it's okay now. Queen h4. Got to go rook h8, it's the only move. Um, do you think she's going to manage to play g4 and queen h6 and rook h3, mate? If you have 3 to h3, that'd be fun if she did. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. That hasn't helped actually. Very much. No. You have to go back again, yes. And that's not a good, probably not a good idea, H5. Now you, well, perhaps should have played H3. Stop. Queen G4 doesn't particularly help. Now you can probably just play, now not C3 because of, uh, oh, actually, <laughs> good, yeah, because there's no that rank trick. Tr trying to land. Uh, not clear if she is landing, actually. She's slightly. It's all got a bit pear-shaped. It's hard with only four seconds, isn't it? I've only got four seconds, so she's probably going to lose that, actually. H3, you must play. Just for God's sake, do something about your bat rank, girl, because <laughs> we don't want a bat rank trick to happen, do we? We don't. Both sides have only two seconds left. But H3, please. Oh. Uh, no, she's lost some time. Yeah, well, it was going for a while. She was doing very well. I mean, there's some moment, if we go back about 15 moves, as you said, 96 won the exchange, which was very nice, which I didn't even notice because I was trying to give mate. Round about here, if we go back a few moves further back, because knight g5 mm -hmm. was too tempy for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere yeah. round about here, yeah. Um, yeah, this was the knight e6 position, yeah. Yeah, knight e6 is a good move, and it may be a very good move. It depends. Uh, in queen h3, they'd have to go h5 as well. So knight queen h5. here, yeah. then h5, yeah. And then we play knight e4. But then they play queen... D oh, no, actually, that's quite a dangerous one, because then we're trying to... Um, here and here, maybe. Well, we can go queen h3, h5, knight e4, and we've got rook f5, but they do have queen d7 then. It's not easy to actually give mate against somebody who's determined not to be checkmated. I know it's rude of them, but, you know, it happens that you can't quite do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, maybe you just, I mean, just knight e6 just seems such a shame. Yeah. Yeah. To, to just, to, but I mean, it would win, yeah. So, I mean, I suppose, why am I whinging? Oh, I know what you <laughs> should play, of course. Probably play rook a4, shouldn't you? Ah, look at that, that's nice. And come across this way, yeah. No, I didn't think of that, but they, they got knight b4, which is annoying. Okay, 
And if they if they don't play night before, they can resign. Night before, but, but you've got this kind of thing, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, but then Queen D3, and things go wrong. But oh. oh, because of this rook's on. Yeah. Read, yes, yeah that's right. Okay. All right. Shall we see how the others got on? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, let's see, uh, Louise. So that's a shame, but 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 she, but she was attacking quite well. F6. She was. Yeah. F6 was a good move. Um. It's round five, isn't it? I believe so, yeah. So, Louise won this game. Um, we will whiz through. This looks like one of these silly gambity things, but maybe. Oh, can. Yeah. Oh, it is a gambit. Yeah. Not sure if Bishop F4 makes much sense. I mean, White's playing too passively, really, I think. I mean, what, what, I can't understand okay. what this is doing. They've got the pawn. Well, 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 but they're still a pawn down, and they haven't actually achieved very much. It's like D7, is G5's good move? I mean, now, you know, now there isn't very much for the pawn. But she played Bishop F4 and Knight C2, neither of which made much sense to me. Now she's lost. Oh, <laughs> and left the queen. Okay. All right, Fine. that's the end of that. Um, let's see Zoe. And so Zoe was white. Seems to have lost some, some lumps here. But... I think she lost something. Yeah, okay. Sicilian. This is his kind of C3 stuff with Bishop G7. Yeah, Bishop F4 doesn't make much sense, probably. Unless you can play Knight D5 at once, but then Knight D5 defends and attacks simultaneously. Now, now, now black's got a reasonable what's well, a tarish reversed okay yeah, basically queen's gambit tarish reversed might be i don't know if it's better for white or who knows so this is isolated deep one and yeah but that's quite, quite a good development but i don't see particularly what she's doing about it um Now, now, now! Once, once the white square bishops come off, it's probably getting a bit better for black at this stage because white doesn't really have an attack. Yeah, and we're not really liking the end game if we get there. No, that's the last thing you want is an ending. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is terrible. Already. Looking good for black, isn't it? Well, it's winning for black, yes. Yeah. Okay, and white lost. Some time. Black out later, actually, in this game. Yeah. Mm. I think she didn't look. I don't think she liked the opening, did she? Sorry. Well, I mean, she, um, if you've got an isolated pawn, you know, you need to create some reason why it's useful. And if, if your opponent gets all the pieces out, up to up to bishop c2, it wasn't so clear to me. But once once the white squared bishops come off, then you've got no real compensation. I mean, your compensation usually is that little bishops in c8 or d7 or somewhere. Uh, so at this point, um, I don't know if you could play when she went bishop c2. If you can play d5, maybe and try to play knight d4, whether well, that's going, not going to work very well. Okay, yeah. I mean, at least you're getting some pieces out then. Yeah. I don't know how well it's going, but I would play d5 anyway. To, maybe they can take and play e6 or go e6 and then take. I don't know. But, but, but yeah. once you let them take the bishop, then bishops then nothing's really happening the other move you might consider is g4 but i think knight takes bishop is pretty good then mm. I, I think i need to play d5 anyway e, whether i like it or not i don't have to yeah. like it, you know because then i've got knight d4 happening i've got bishop b5 happening they take the bishop i probably take with the queen i mean takes queen takes e6 i can maybe go g4 there or maybe i can go knight d4 i don't know I don't want to take e6 very much because then the bishop's good in e6. But I mean, it's not it's not a clear position at all. Maybe d6 as well is interesting. It's more, but 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 there, there are plenty of ways to make it interesting. Whereas yeah. whereas after the white, white square bishops come off, then yeah, yeah. So not swapping off, but just keeping this pawn going. Yeah, you know, you've got a part. It's an isolated pawn, but it is allowed to advance if it. 
until it gets stopped. And once yeah. it gets control of the white squares, then it's just better for black, I think. Yeah. Shall we quickly yeah. check Nina's? Yeah, sure. Uh, all right. So this is round five. We're doing round six will be the round next one, and then I'm going to. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so Nina won this one. Good. Well, they're, they're fighting quite hard, these, these guys. They are. That looks like. Uh, Another Dutch. Oh, yeah. is this the same game? It's... Is this her father's fault that she plays the Dutch? Oh, I expect so. Yeah. This looks very familiar. I can't, I'm not sure. No, it's... no, it's a different game. But... Different game. Sure, this has gone particularly well at this stage. Well, it's not explained. E5, come on, push your pawns. E5 wins a piece, by the way, doesn't it? Not very much. Yeah. yeah. And it says a queen b. Trying to think what I'm. Is there a yeah. queen b3? Don't think it's that amazing. If there is. Well, queen b3, you can play rook rook b8. Yeah. No, e5 just went to peace, so I agree yeah. with you. I mean, it's for a few pawns. It's not completely clear, but it's in a blitz game, but it's a good idea. So, knight e4 she played. Knight e5 looks like a jolly good idea. Want to keep control of some dark squares? Queen g5 or something? I'm guessing she played. F4, <laughs> F4 is a bit generous to that piece of bishop, maybe. It depends. Um, F4 isn't stupid. Um, but now you will probably want to play bishop b4 next move to stein. Yeah, just take the take the knight and play something like I don't. I mean, I mm. play bishop b4 and then I don't know which way she recaptures. But you've got eventually a, a better bishop than Black's because Black's is blocked and yours isn't. Yeah, uh, and that should be quite a big advantage. Take and play queen e2 or queen c2. Perhaps queen e2 actually, yeah, because then you can go c4 and b3, put some rooks in the d file. Black can play rook d3 to sacrifice a second pawn to open the bishop's diagonal, but you don't get mated by a queen and a bishop by themselves. Rook to there just looks, I don't really see what it's doing. I suppose just mm. like bishop takes knight and rook. You must have taken rook g3, I suppose. I suppose so, but it's not very. What did she do? Move the knight, I think, would be a good idea. Bishop there. Mm. Bishop c6. Oh, and the rook went back again. A bit, I mean, taking a rook g3 makes some sense. Yeah. Because actually, it makes quite a lot of sense because you're getting the rook is quite dangerous in g3. If g6, you might have queen h5, actually. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. that's at least fun. I don't mm. understand why you're losing two tempi. Okay, what does she do now? a5 or rook, queen f7? Again, I'm still wanting to take that knight all the time. Yeah. No, I know I definitely do before. Okay. Uh, well. Again. Again. Yeah. And this is, yeah. Ooh. An intermediate move. An intermediate, so indeed, but should, should go bishop f5 now, probably. Uh, this one hitting the queen. Yeah, that was the pawn. Now she's managed to, um, you can take a g7, which should win. It is. There's another one that was actually decided on time. Yeah. I mean, she at least, she fights hard, which is, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's mm -hmm. I mean, you just go queen f2. I mean, this is completely actually queen h6 wins immediately in this position. Ooh. It's completely the end of the game. Yeah. So I should play here instead of losing on time. Yeah, and mate, mate in two or three more moves, yeah. Yeah, because this one's on. It is. Yeah. Because of the d5 pawn, there is no counter check of mate. Yeah. All right, so round six, uh, which should be starting any second now, right. we are up against Brazil. Yeah. Um, so, Woman Feeding Master Louise Head against Woman Feeding Master Julia 
ao Boredo, a Suzanne Brazil, 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 Brazil for quite a decent players, don't they? They are decent, yeah, 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 yeah. We are outrated on all boards, actually. Uh -huh. um, okay, should we start with Louise? Yeah, let's just go down the yeah. Uh, Louise, here we go. You're doing very well finding these in the slightly. <laughs> I'm getting to know the, the uh, getting it to my way around the site a little bit better. Here we are. This is a Grunfeld. This is live. Ah, the patriarchal pawn structure. Oh, almost. He oh, except he likes it with um, G three H two rather than the other way around. <laughs> but not with that bishop there. Who does? Keith, the Carlsbad he likes. All right. Um, H3 is an interesting move. Um, just to start not a three, but G4, of course. I was wondering about rook C1, or I didn't particularly want to play knight F3, I agree. I'm a little concerned that black probably can get active in this position if she plays two to three good moves, possibly C5, or takes pawn, queen takes yeah. queen may well work and take and see through and play knight a4 that may be okay um i think that's probably the sort of thing they do in this position i'm guessing but i i mean yes, 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 I do, yes. but you more or less have to take and now queen is queen oh knight knight back knight back i don't particularly like bishop c4 is that the best move i suppose so so knight c5, there isn't a bishop f7 check trick, is there? Bishop f7, you'd have to do with the king, wouldn't you? Yeah, and there's nothing. You always look. Knight e2, not particularly my bundle either. That's where I'd have to go. White's a little bit passive here, perhaps. The bishop on g7 is somewhat monstrous. Black has actually managed to get all her lumps out and probably has a slight advantage, I think. I mean, it's a Catalan where, you know, the, the knight should be on f3 probably. And this this is getting a little bit worse by the minute, really. Yeah. The knight's bad on g3. It takes, perhaps even take the queen, actually. Uh, I mean, knight takes also is good because it hits b2, but I wasn't sure. I thought then maybe queen b3 would be all right on a good day. I mean, I'm... I think I already need a good day and some summer thing with a following wind. Okay, Louise gave up the exchange then. I'm not sure if she meant to. I suppose Maybe she did. Not. I mean, knight b4 is a good move now. To uh oh sorry, the queen's gone to f3, that's helped. Probably knight b4 is still a good move. Knight e5, e e6, one of d6. Kick that bishop about and then carry on playing chess. Probably nothing really happening. Uh, I mean, this isn't sound, but you have to think: Can I make some trouble somehow? Yeah. It's basically all you can do. And B two is loose, and you don't really have any players white because F seven isn't loose. Black hasn't made any weaknesses. Yeah. I mean, it's a lost position, is what I'm saying. But I mean, it's not. It's not trivial. You still play it, yeah. yeah. Of course, you still play it, yeah. Yeah. In Blitz, you still play a long time in many positions, yeah. and certainly in this one. B1, well, Bishop C3 wins, isn't it? Bishop C3 and Queen takes Rook, and yeah, just a one, one apiece. That would have been a lot worse. Now you go Bishop C4 and pretend you, pretend you meant it all. <laughs> you know, I mean, a lot of chess is just pretending that you meant your moves. Keep them yeah. Straight in face. So Bishop <laughs> Bishop C3 just resigned, actually. Oh, I was captain's junior team in this boy, and he made this blunder. But then he didn't, like, really did not keep a straight face. He just put his head right into his hands, and the guy was threatening. Well, what happened? Did the opponent see it? He lost, he lost, yeah. But you just kind of thought he could bluff it better than that. <laughs> yeah, I always tell people I had a game with Daniel Campora at uh, Dortmund, tournament I was first equal in the time I played. And we had a terrible time scramble, and on move 40, I put my queen somewhere a knight could take it, which was a bit sad. Yeah. So I did that, yeah. and he looked at me like I was completely insane. So I um, thought, all right, 
you haven't seen you can take my queen so i went for a walk and he yeah. did i yeah. i had a one also when i was i was playing against turkey for england in yeah. wherever it was um but but yeah and i just left my knight on breeze she could have played knight takes a knight and i was like please captain don't come over and don't react i, I kept a complete straight face and actually you have an irascible captain it, it, the captain was andrew greed at the time i didn't know not irascible but he just i just can't imagine that he would have managed to look at the board and not react at all like do a double take of is that knight really on freeze or anything it was a very simple position as well um could i have done that i don't know when i was captain uh, i mean it depends on your expectation of your uh team i think it would be rather rude of him not to react actually if i may say so well, I was trying so I, you know, I was playing so and my poker face was so my, my play was very bad, but my poker face was so good at that time. And, and yeah. they didn't take it. They didn't take it, no. Did you win the game? Yeah. Good, yeah. Good. That's very good. Yes, well, well I've seen many amazing things as captain of the England women when I was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, 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 the are there any stories you're prepared to tell? <laughs> Oh, you know, people leaving large things on. Well, I mean, I actually, Lawrence, my son, used to lend me large books to read during time scrambles. So I had some enormous science fiction tome, about 600 pages. You know, of course, they banned books at one point in one of the Olympiads. Oh, yeah. Nonsensically. <laughs> you know, you're a captain. You're there for six hours. You have to watch your opponents. Sorry, your players, your own players playing execrably. <laughs> not always playing excruciably, but quite often. And you're not supposed to have something to hide behind. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I just thought they were so unreasonable. Mm -hmm. We got very upset. I mean, Judith and I made a big fuss. Judith was very good at me. Between us, we made enough fuss that we were allowed to take books into the plane. Oh, very good. Which weren't chess books. But anyway, so I had by, what's his name? Somebody Tarkovsky. He's a biologist who does science fiction. Quite fun. And Lawrence lent me one of these, which was yay big, you know, okay, yay big. You can't see both my hands, but anyway. And I, I read it, and, you know, certainly there were some time scrambles. Time scrambles started, player was totally lost. I'm the side I can't bear to watch. Next time I look, player is totally winning. And, you know, I think, jolly good, well done, girl. I mean, or whatever. Probably shouldn't think girl, but, I mean, I did probably. And I just thought, you know, now, now she hasn't. Um, I'm, I'm playing these manually because. Um, yeah. I have to watch out for knight g4 check at some moment. Just oh, yes. force, force the girl to play knight g4 check, which has to be taken. That's a bit suboptimal. Is she going to find it when her knight is on prees? Is she going to find knight g4 check? So I'm going to catch up here. I mean, what is the woman thinking about? Oh, she's done it that way. Okay. Check. Is that mate? This is nasty. Yeah. What is? Yeah, there's too many boys. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Right. Okay. Well, that's a shame. I mean, but I must admit, when I was playing for the English Women's Team, I quite liked having the. the I mean, we had a male captain. I quite liked that but they, you, they never get given an easy time do they john absolutely not no i, I mean i did it did i did it two or three times yeah you did you did i possibly did it three times before i was finally kicked out <laughs> and the first time we did fine which was reykjavik and somewhere else and somewhere else or did i only do it twice and anyway, anyway i mean i knew at some point i was going to offend people to the point that they didn't want me but I thought at least I was old and codgerly enough that they wouldn't act up too much. But I was wrong, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. And, and now, you should play bishop c4 in this position before knight c3, by the way. Because the, in knight c3, there's the move e5, which is mildly annoying. Well, You yeah. should play, what did you say? Bishop f4 first before knight c3. Uh, okay. Isn't that, isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful to, to tell you such fantastic information? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't play this game, but it's, if I ever did. <laughs> if you ever did, it's sort of, it's a useful thing. And this is just yeah, cool. exactly. <laughs> there are little bits and pieces I know of open theory, not very much, but enough. I would play C5 here as black myself. Yeah, that's good. 
uh, this looks. Doesn't look terribly good for white now to me. Doesn't look good for white. Yeah, I quite like this for black. Yes. Because I thought it was a bit better for queen b3. That, that is, oh, that didn't win a piece. That's really bad luck. Defended with the queen. A plum. A plum yeah. of irritation. Don't know what's going on here. Well, I sort of guessed that, I don't know if that b6 was possible at some moment. This pawn on a6 is a pretty big unit. Uh, so he's opening it up. Rook b5 is possible or isn't. She's fighting hard. Uh, yeah, we'll it's quite a visual position, isn't it, with the, both those bishops, like on a8 and b8. Yeah, you, can't, you can't take a d4 because of queen b8, actually. It's a bit oh, sad. she's done it, though. Queen b8 now wins completely. Now? Yeah. Because, uh, so takes, takes, takes king here and then we've got some kind of horrible double check i guess well we have two different double checks both of which are checkmate. That one there, checkmate oh dear or knight g5 is checkmate as well yeah she's gotten away with it though has she did the go i mean you know i mean you really should see that because you, yeah. you always look at quintet's bishop and yeah you always reject it quickly afterwards um okay well that's oh and it's and it's um that can't be recaptured as well so, so so that's about a it's a double piece a, a checkmate to a piece down swing yeah it's about uh oh god is it now but that one doesn't work now doesn't work now check well done zoe yeah lucky there to get away with that though wow, love it. okay uh nina Right, and then we'll... And then we're done. This is quite fun. Um, so it's an interesting tournament, and they're getting lots of experience. I mean, it's a little bit fast for them to play very well, but I think, as I said, I do recommend people to play the yeah. fastest they can play where they, they're comfortable, or they're not uncomfortable anyway. Because I think that's the way to... Especially, I mean, online. Yeah. That's, that's the way to have... Oh, shit. Oh, dear. Oh, is that our... This is our player's white. We're okay. Good. Well, in that case, not that case, any expletives that may have been mouthed, and I had not heard where, where, um, we didn't hear a thing. Good, very good. Um, well, you know, better, delivering checkmate. Well, you really better win this game now. Uh, she did, she did, she did. Oh, she's, oh. Actually, she's so dangerous, isn't it? Anything can happen in these ones. She's fouled it up about as much as is humanly possible, hasn't she? Without the... <laughs> what has gone on? She's she's um, exchange up now. I know she's a rook up, is she? Rook and f knight. Yeah, the rook and h. So that's better in h four. Yeah, the knight. E oh, okay, and she managed this. Well, she has she, managed. she has plenty of time. Good. I, I like that. Mate, very okay. good, very good. All right, we'll just do whiz very, very quickly. We whiz through May and then we're done. Okay, uh, lovely. Well, it's a pleasure doing this actually. Um, so when you have other things to commentate on, then please do tell me because it's okay. I will, very, very I easy for me. You know, I mean, I if I'm here, if I'm not doing something else, then yeah, I can mm. watch these and uh, yeah, okay. So we are black. We reach double figures, by the way, in our audience. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, Queen B3 was a bit suboptimal. Oh, actually, maybe it wasn't. I haven't seen this Queen, queen A2. Now no, you can take and take and D5. And B5, yeah. And the white, the white squares are not your friend. Oh, this is a white square game. Well, white is playing a white square game, yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's a bit, a bit of a shame that the bishop has gone to e2, but you can later. Yeah, it is a white square game, as discussed. I mean, I, I mean, this should be winning for white, but it's not trivial. Mm. No, 
you need to get your king out, sort of do some. Not sure that was very bright. Actually, f5 is very weak now because of the what's good bishop and cut you away in that, are you? Yeah. Yeah, that double rooks now. But it's just what. Oh no, sorry. Didn't see what was going on. Um, black's fighting quite. The knight should be on d6, by the way. Then black would be a hell of a lot better than. Oh, yes, because she did have the choice, didn't she, of defending? She did. I mean, okay, there was an e4 move around about here, but. And you, you want to get your. Um, yeah, this has gone. Now e5. Now bishop b Yeah, okay. With the house, the garden, and the. Yeah. The roses, yeah. Sadly. All right, brilliant. Well, okay, so. Um, Thank you very much, John. So this was the English, it was um, the first half of the Queen's Chess Festival team final. It's a rapid play, three plus two. We've been supporting our four players, uh, Louise, Zoe, Nina, and May. And uh, we've seen some very good games here, lots of attacking games, lots of um, tough defending as well. And um, and because it's three plus two, some fair few mistakes from, from all the sides. Um, it's uh, been really nice to see these games. Thanks ever so much, John. Um, it's a pleasure doing the commentary, and good luck to all the players uh, for the rest of the games. And uh, and uh, well done all for even for qualifying and uh, uh, some good games there. And yeah. hope you enjoy yourselves. And we will finish the stream now. Thanks everybody for watching. Oh, we got somebody saying surely the England women's team captain should be a woman. Yeah, yeah, what do you think of that? I, 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 I don't really ag agree because I, uh, having been a player, it's quite well, nice. It's a question. I mean, the problem is that um, do you want to have a strong player? I mean, mm -hmm. you certainly want a bloke who's fairly neutral, and but but if you want a strong player, it depends. They're more a coach than a captain, really. If you want a coach, you want them to be strong enough to be able to coach them, and yeah. you know we are. I know it's it, it, the disparity, the gender disparity in chess is a bit ridiculous because there's no reason that women shouldn't play chess as well as men do and much mm. more nowadays than previously they do. But in terms of who you can get to be a captain, you know, if you want to have me or you want to have, well, Natasha say, then, um, then you know, Natasha's going to be Going to be able to manage the players well, they may or may not be as badly behaved. Mm. I don't know, but um, and then you know, they're normally lovely actually, by the way. Um, having a team, but um, yeah, I think in terms of choice, so right, because you, you've got you've got really quite few people to choose from, I think, at the moment. Right. I, I mean, hopefully, this will improve over time, but at the moment, it's you know, your top players are playing in that team already. So, if you want someone that's strong at chess as well, it's you're not going to have that much choice on and and then it's even if they're available to to play yeah you um, know, i mean the thing is look if you have a strong player whether they prepare them well i mean it's not clear my openings are not great for my strength and probably they don't coincide with the women's openings but i, I can say sensible things it, it's possible who who does it now uh, uh, lauren i think did it most well, lauren does it now doesn't yeah. he? he's probably better in terms of the openings and if they get on well that's fine i mean the important thing is that the team should be very comfortable and that they should um have somebody who can help them because the other teams will have decentish grandmasters some of them the good teams who will be stronger than any woman players available yeah uh, i mean yeah. The, the, the russian and ukrainian teams will have men I mean, Rublevsky is the captain of the Russian women for that. I don't know if he still is. You know, so they'll have wizened blokes who <laughs> will will understand chess a bit. Yeah. Uh, whether they'll, I mean, you know, psychologically, how much psychological support these people, people in the team need? Well, you should anyway. I if think you, can, you do, though. You do, because it is it is high pressure, this stuff. And yeah, I, mean, I found, like, if I have a captain who's, I like them, it's nice that they're strong at chess, but it's also nice if they're they're quite 
fun, relaxed, have a sense of humor and and you don't have to feel like you don't have to feel like you watch, you know, so you say you you might panic or something when you're preparing for a game or whatever. You yeah. just feel like you can act how you want to act when you're preparing yeah, for the no, game. They, they, they won't be freaked out by that. They'll just, you know, take it in their stride and yeah, still give you the help that you need. That's that's what I need. Well, I think the main thing is they should be kind. Or they yeah. should not yeah. kind. You yeah, can't do kind just... Completely. Kind is is really important, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, so yeah. do I, yeah. Because you know, you it's a very stressful thing being part of a team. Yeah. And you know, you're under this huge pressure both from yourself and your colleagues and your captain. And somebody who if they get upset when you make mistakes, then they shouldn't. Yeah, yeah that's them. hopeless, isn't it? If your captain's gonna get upset with you, it's it's, you know, it's not gonna work. Not, right? When I'm teaching people, I never get upset yeah. if they make mistakes because I, yeah. I just know I can blunder myself really well. You know, yeah. I know how, how extremely capable I am of playing terrible moves when I play chess. And as we've discussed, sometimes you can blunder and get away with it, and sometimes you um, you don't, and and you could play a really good game and lose. But if your captain's then going to get upset with you, it's that's 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 going to be really tough. Uh, what do I think about Nina playing the Dutch? Well, I mean, given that Richard's her dad, then I mean, I mean, I do wish she wouldn't play d five quite so often. I think. But, <laughs> But I mean, you know, it's difficult. I mean, the Dutch probably does quite well for her against other juniors. Um, I think what happens, I mean, I have people I teach, you know, who play what the Mora Gambit or something, or the Evans okay. Gambit, or, or some other things I don't really approve of. And my feeling is that chess is something where once you're at the board or even at the screen, you're responsible for yourself, nobody else, not your coach. Even if you're a child of eight, then you are the responsible person at the chessboard. You choose your openings and your moves. And you can take notice if you're, you should take notice a bit of what people say to you. But frankly, you have to play the moves you want to. And um, if you like an opening, then play it. And if it goes wrong and carries on going wrong, then if you're a bright person, which presumably a good chess player should be, whether you're eight or 80, if you play an opening and you keep on losing with it, then it's stupid to continue. But while you're doing well with it, even if it's a crap opening, it doesn't matter. You know, what happens is you play the opening, you think, this is great, I enjoy this. Then you start losing, then you carry on losing, then it becomes a burden. And you think, well, I don't want to learn another opening because it's a faff, but I don't like losing every game. And you do, you know, you learn something. Mm. And then I have the 97 Caro, which... I basically, from time to time, wheel out when I'm playing Blitz or something. But basically, I've forsworn two or three times because I can't quite bear to do it. You know, I, you know, because I know too much, too much about the things that can go wrong. Yeah, and you just have to. It's up to you. You know, you play the opening you think that is best at that moment. So mm. I don't like they're playing the Dutch, but you know, if you want to address. Think it's not a good idea then tell richard don't tell me yeah. it's sometimes useful to have a spare isn't it so like if you were fed up yeah. with the dutch one day if you've got something else you can reel out that's that's pretty yeah. helpful d5 and move one if you insist on playing it on move 10. yeah right okay cool. all right thanks so much uh have a have a lovely afternoon yes. and uh yeah, and thank you yeah. Okay, cheers then. And by the way, everyone, you should all watch John Spillman's stream. He does a really good stream. I was watching it the other day. I do. And, I do uh, twitch.tv forward slash John Spielman. Um, and I tend to do tournament commentary rather than anything else. I mean, I noticed today that the Russian Championship Higher League is on. I'm not going to stream this afternoon. I'm going to watch football at 5 o'clock, and then, then I'm teaching at 6. So I'll see the first half of that and the sec and perhaps the second game. But... Um, Thank you. Uh, that's nice. Thanks, people. Uh, but, um, yeah, but in principle, I do about once a week. I, I stream. Um, yeah, it's twitch.tv forward slash John Spielman, and please come along. And I'm Follow very... his channel, and, uh, yes, tune in when you get a chance. I'm going to try and twitch. TV forward slash John Spielman. Spielman. All... All there you go. It's dead easy. Follow that one. Um, follow this if you want already as well. Yeah, and, sure. uh, and uh, do keep on watching. Excellent, Macbeth's going to watch you, John. Okay, that's great. Thank Excellent. You, thank you, Macbeth. It's nice to have some other codgers. Okay, <laughs> cheers then.
<laughs> see you then, people. All right. Thanks all. See you. Bye.